Okay, I think we are all good to go. Sorry about that wait there. Um, <laughs> it was just taking me a minute to post to everything for some reason. My phone was not happy to post to Instagram today, but we got it. <laughs> there we go. And I think that's all good. So I'll switch the face cam. Ta-da! <laughs> we are all good. And I don't know what struck me this morning, but I was like, need more green. <laughs> so I, I did the makeup. <laughs> And basically I just went green on everything, except I did some musical notes on one side, which now in hindsight, I realise it's covered by the microphone and was absolutely stupid and I don't know why I did it. But I did it! I did it! And I had fun doing it! <laughs> I don't normally do makeup because my skin's pretty sensitive, but I found some recently that are actually pretty good with my skin. And as long as I don't wear foundation, we're all good. So I might, I might do this a bit more, as long as I don't wear foundation. <laughs> So my skin's always gonna be shiny as hell, but like, hey, I could be green more. That might be fun. Not that you can tell, because everything always turns up blue on screen anyway. But yeah, today we're gonna be making Bard. Uh, you might have seen on the Discord, but if you're not on the Discord, we have these two fabrics, which do actually show up green on screen, which is lovely. And they're kind of watermelon-esque, as <laughs> Nat and a couple of people kindly pointed out. But, um... I found these at Hobbycraft on Wednesday and the bar trousers are kind of green pinstriped. So the plan today is to make the base for the trousers and then start cutting out the pieces that I can then make into the pinstripes. I actually have a little contraption that I can attach to my iron that I can then make the pinstripes, which I might do next week. The reason I'm not probably gonna do it this week is I can't find that contraption <laughs> and I would love to have done it this week. But without that contraption, it would take me literally forever. And oh, wait, me, whoa, 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 whoa. No, wait, hold off. I found it. It's right here. Uh, well, ignore everything I just said. We might be able to do it this week. It's these things. <laughs> so they're basically bias binding makers. Um, and you, you thread the fabric in one side. Gigi, hi. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to Greenstream. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen these before, Chi Chi. Uh, you, maybe you have. I, I only discovered them earlier this year. And they have literally saved me so much money. I mean, I use bias binding a lot. And bias binding in the UK, like a good average would be if you're buy buying like two or three meters, it costs like two or three quid. So, it, you know, and that's generally the increments you buy it in. This cost me maybe 10 quid. It's a nice metal one, so I'm pretty I'm pretty convinced I won't be able to break it. And you know, oh wait, I need to shout you out Chi Chi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I will do that. I'll remind me to do it later as well in case we get a bit busier. But um if I, in case anyone else is here. Um a very talented Chi Chi here who is another maker and crafter. <laughs> And there's a lot of lovely, lovely things, as you can see, in making and crafting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you basically thread in pieces of fabric to this and pull it out with your eye on the other side. It's very satisfying. If I can show you in the stream later, I will. And you just pull it out the other side with the iron and it basically turns any fabric you want, as long as it doesn't have too much uh, stretch to it. If it's got a lot of stretch to it, it won't work too much, but you could always put some interfacing on the other side to get the stretch out of it and it will turn it into bias binding. And it is so, so cheap, like in the long run. And I've made literally meters and meters of it. I've used so much for the journey cosplay. I've used it in so many cosplay since. And literally 10 quid, one time purchase, just bias binding for days. Oh, I've seen those. Haven't had a reason to get one since for most of the binding tape I use, it's out of fleece because it goes on fur. I think fleece you might get away with fur, I, it, so this is like the end. You know, it is quite a, a chunky end, so it can do slightly thicker fabrics, but it depends how thick the fleece is. If it's like coat fleece, you might be okay with it. I don't know about fur fleece, because yeah. You get you get the slightly bigger ones and they are quite chunky at the end, but I don't know. But ben, hi, but you've made a grave mistake. What has happened? I hope you're okay. And thank you, saw that I made affiliate, yes! Congratulations, Chi Chi. I forgot hot sauce on my hand and I rub my eyes. Ren, go. Look after yourself. Get it out of your eyes. 
and don't type. Go fix it. Because that's not safe. I hope I hope that your eyes are okay. Um, I just made it in hand. Yeah, I've got the tools when I need it. Lovely. Yeah. I mean, it, it is easiest and most satisfying when you've got it on a thinner fabric because it does just like whiz out the other side. And like, I don't know, I find that the most satisfying. But I love these things. Like, I got them in two sizes as well. So I got them in 12 millimeter and 25 millimeter because I don't know, sometimes I want this, the really thin one, sometimes I want the thick one. I barely use it for bias binding, to be fair. I mainly use it for just strips of things. Already fixing it. Okay. Good rent. I, I, best of luck. God. The gravest of mistakes. The gravest of mistakes. Oh dear. A horn now? We could do a horn. Horn. Horn, by the way. We could do a horn, by the way. Um. But yeah. I love these things. I, I couldn't find them. I had a good search this morning. If it sounds like things are falling over behind me, it's because they are, because I was searching for those. Right, also here's the main camera. So um, you can see on his trousers, he has this green and uh, other green striped fabric with like brown bits down the side. Um, we'll come back to do the brown bit later because I have got some brown for that, but it's, it's tucked away somewhere. Question, question away. But um, yeah, it's kind of, it tucked away and yeah. Did I move some of my figures? Uh, yes, but also the camera is kind of at a weird angle. It's at an angle so I can slouch, I don't, which is really not good. Uh, should probably, there you go. That's a bit better. <laughs> uh, I did, but also the, the angle is low. And I, is that, is that my normal angle? I'm not sure. Um, looks like the shelf is less cluttered. Oh. There's the same amount of figures on it, or at least there should be. Um, oh no, there's the clutter. There they are. It's the one up. <laughs> yeah, it, it, the, the one with most of the small figurines is at the top, so. There they are, the clutter. For some reason I just had, I guess I had it angled for because I was slouching. Oop. But yeah, the, the base is gonna be made out of this. I'll make a bias tape and sew over the top of this. I might as well do get some puffy paint and do some little dots over the top of this one. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling some texture I might want to put on. And then we'll come back with the strips, um, with the, the sort of like brown strips at the end, I believe, and put those on and then we'll come back and make sure the waist fits and everything like that. Uh, and. I mean, I kind of want it to be quite oversized because it obviously pulls in quite a lot near, I don't know if it's his ankle or his knee because of course he is so uh, like not the same proportioned as me. So I think it's probably his calf. So I'll do the same for me. So on my calf, I will pull it in and uh, have it there that it will like shoop in. But you know, I want it to be quite baggy at that point. So I get a lot of like, underneath and yeah I've made a basic pattern I'll show you that it's just based off one of my trousers that I own like I own some like jogging bottoms <laughs> these are a pattern based off my jogging bottoms that I made I just lay them out fold them in half and drew a pattern based off those so it, it's real basic I mean because because I want them to be loose I was like will keep them loose. I mean, at the end of the day, if I ruffle, like not ruffle them, if I if I uh, have to pull them in at the top, that's fine. There's so many layers at the top anyway, it doesn't really matter. And I want there to be extra around the bottom. So as long as it's not weirdly proportioned going down, which I don't think it should be based on this shape. And I've got enough space around the crotch, it should be good because uh, I just don't want it to be pulling. And I want to have enough space at the top that I can add like a waistband and it to actually sit somewhere on my waist. Uh, should be good, should be good. That's all I want, that's all I want. And yeah, that's about it. So I kept it real simple. That's gonna again, go out of the lighter green of the two fabrics, which the more I look at it, the more I'm like, it's almost like a yellow. But I think what I might do as well, I'm not fully sold on this idea yet but I might weather it a little bit. Um, so where the green pinstripes are, 
I might go in with like uh, a slightly darker than this paint. <laughs> this might be a bit extra. <laughs> and just ever so slightly darken it around those edges. I don't know if I'll do that yet. To look like little bits of dirt have got into it. I'm not sure yet. I, I would consider doing that. Putting some little bits of dirt in around where the pinstripes are because the pinstripes are going to be coming off of this rather than sewing into it. Whether or not I want some dirt to sit in those crevices or not. Kit Kat, hi, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome to trousers. Need some trousers today. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any uh, like vinyl that I liked. Well, they didn't really have any wood vinyls at Hobbycraft. They normally do. Uh, they had them online at least, but of course, I guess supply, stuff like that, so I'm not... It's fair enough, they didn't have any. So I'm gonna order some online and wait for that to arrive so we can continue doing stuff with the guitar. Um, but it's okay, because they had this instead. Um, yeah. I mean, I did really want a, a textured cotton. Like, it's not got... A, not textured cotton, that's a bad way of putting it. But like a cotton with some pattern on it. Uh, and this is, this is a nice... I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. Now I need four pieces of this or I need to cut it on a fold. And I think doing four pieces is going to be better because I do want that leather strip down the outside and if I do four pieces I can... I know exactly where to put that leather piece on the outside plus I would want to have the inside not... Yeah, I think four pieces makes the most sense because I know where to put the leather piece and I don't want to have the inside sewn up instantly. I go hi! Dark makeup, yeah. I went. For, I was going to have another green day, more green. And also, I, oh, this is the thing that annoys me a little bit because first of all, I did music notes on my face, right? But because of the camera, it looks like they're backwards. <laughs> So it looks like I did the music notes backwards and also with me being so far away you can't see them anyway <laughs> But originally I was just gonna paint music notes on my face and I was like, what if I go full green? Mm, let's do full green today go Full full swamp <sighs> Yeah, I had fun. I don't do makeup too often. It was fun. Oh dear Look, gonna do some drawing with this in the background. Fair enough, Kit Kat. Enjoy your look. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's get four pieces of this, I think. I should have plenty. No, which way I want to fold it. <laughs> should have plenty. No idea how to fold this. Um, I got two meters of it. Which really should be plenty. But just this. Mm, I think I need to unfold it and then refold it because I think yeah I need to unfold it and refold it god damn it unfortunately the width of this is perfect but then I have to unfold it and refold it to get it right <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes I can't understand how the camera is making green look blue I mean it's good for ones like this which are actually a little bit more yellowy and then in the camera, it looks quite green. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it plays in my favor. Some of the yellowy ones look more green, but then me, who is green, looks then more blue. So I am both winning and losing. But it's not the camera, it's, it is the lighting. Um, have, have confirmed, because take, taking these cameras outside they do, in fact, show the true colours. <laughs> It'd be like that. So I have green lipstick on. Yeah, so it's like a, a really dark green. <laughs> but then it's like... Doesn't look like it. <laughs> it looks like I've gone full blue. <laughs> Which is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, if I'd gone full blue, like, that's fair enough. But it's like a really deep green. Um, it's like very, very deep green and then like on camera it just looks like I'm like, ah, the most deepest of blues, uh, which is fine, it's fine, it's fine, oh dear, damn, holy blue, yeah, I know, right, <laughs> oh god, oh, it's like I'm, I'm getting to the point where it's like I can get away with makeup as long as I don't wear foundation, but like foundation, unfortunately, would probably still do me in. 
but um lipstick and eyeshadow probably okay uh but it, it yeah it's it, it's fine i go downstairs though and i'm like yeah i look i look like a swamp witch which is kind of what i was going for but up here not not quite so much but you know what that's kind of cool it's kind of cool because like i get to be both the best of both worlds downstairs i'm a swamp witch upstairs i'm i don't know some kind of water person <laughs> and that's cool i get to be both both a swamp witch and a water person depending on what floor of the house i'm on <laughs> oh dear stream hi how are you doing stream we hope you're having a good day. Welcome to... We're making watermelon trousers. <laughs> the thing is, because they're striped as well. So when Nat in the Discord was like, It looks like watermelon. I'm like, oh, just you wait. Because <laughs> these are stripy trousers. Oh. And by the way, in kind of lurk mode, finishing the masks for Teddy and I. No, that's completely fair enough, Chi Chi. You have a nice lurk. Oh, I'm just going to be here struggling. <laughs> piece of fabric's kind of big um just want to get like you know when you're you're trying to fold something but you don't want to you don't want to use all of it right i might stand up <laughs> excuse me while i stand to try to fold this fabric because i don't want to i don't want to waste it <laughs> because i don't want to get to a point where it's like i've cut it straight down the middle to make my life easier but in reality i could you know have <laughs> i could have used less and then I could save a scrap at the end and I don't know, use it for something else like, I don't know, hoarding. Right, let's get that. There. Whoa. Immediately drop it. Come on now, work with me. We are friends and I require assistance. <laughs> right. What I want is, I think, only probably about that much. Right. With that being the case, could you do... Right. <laughs> Place very carefully. T needs to move over to there. There we go. You need soup? Now, once again, shrimp. I don't have soup, but I do have noodles. If you are interested in noodles, it's the same noodles as last time. But I am more than happy to share my spicy noodles. If you would be interested in spicy noodles. Now you see what I'm doing here, where I'm like trying to make sure I don't use all of my fabric. Just, I just want to save some. Just don't want to. I don't want to waste it. It's a nice color. Right, there we go. That's good. That's a good. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Oh, <sighs> right. That was difficult, but we got there. Now, shall I draw around it or shall I just pick? It feels like there's some lumps, but I think it's the, yeah, there's a fold in the fabric underneath. I think it's just that fold, like the fold that I've got here too. Mimicked underneath. That's okay. I can live with that. Oh my god. Jeez! <laughs> I can share my noodles. That's all I can do. I'm sorry. I have noodles and that's all I have. I, and, and ham sandwiches. That's uh, my lunch. Noodles and ha oh, actually, though, to be fair, we do also have like a plowman's kind of style lunch. Did say, is that kind of something people eat outside of the UK? I kind of always see it as a very like British style lunch, but it might not be at all. It might be something other people eat. But like a plowman style lunch to me is always something that I perceive as very British, um, which is like, uh, it's it's like how to put it. You eat like a plowman style lunch. It's like it's normally bread, like a, but a nice bread, uh, some cheeses, but normally quite nice cheeses. And then there's normally uh, some pickled something, maybe like pickled onions or like gherkins. Uh, some meats. And then uh, 
Maybe like a scotch egg. So the like scotch egg and like a, a like a, a pork pie. I realise that those specifically are British, but maybe like other countries have their own iterations of like what would replace those. Um, and uh, what else do you normally have? Oh, and like some salady things, some salady bits and bobs. Um, sounds Danish. Oh wait, no, your crow had a seizure. I am so sorry. I hope that it's doing better now, Devon. Oh dear. What is that? It, it's it's just like a mixture of lots of things. So it's like, and you have it all on a plate together and it's like bits and bobs. But like, it's like a plowman's meal. Like a, pl a plowman's lunch or plowman's dinner. And you have like lots of bits and bobs. And it, it's great also because like quite often you won't eat it all in one go. So you might have some the next day. Like for instance, I often have like sardines as well. Like tin sardines uh, with my plowman's. You might have coleslaw or potato salad with it. Um, I'm not keen on coleslaw. I would rather have sardines personally. Um, but... You know, it's it's like, you know, it's good because you can kind of pick and choose the things you would prefer to have. So I'd rather have the fish. Other people might prefer to have the coleslaw. Oh dear. I want a pork pie. A lot of, yeah, so you might prefer to have the pork pie. And then you can have that on your, on your plowman's meal. Can you hold a plain white piece of paper in front of the camera for about 30 seconds? Uh. How's this? If you have auto white balance, it may fix the colours. I'm curious to see if it works. Um, well, this is a plain white piece of paper, but I don't have auto white bal uh, colour balance on my webcam, so I don't think that will work. The only one I do have it on is the one up there, and my head doesn't uh, appear in that one. So this is the only one where it does have it on it, and unfortunately, it's not the one where my head appears in front of it, really. Because it's like... Well, that being said, my hair actually does look a significantly different colour on, on the top-down camera today than it does on the side camera. Huh. This is... Hmm. Oh, we do be looking different colours today. We do be. No, hmm. <laughs> I'm Ooh. Oh, we do be looking different colours. Interesting. Yeah, my wall does look very blue today, to be fair. I'm like, I'm blending in. Oh. Uh, you look more pale in the face cam than before. Oh. oh dear. Hmm. It does look more green than it used to. In the in the top down one. Camera. Are you messing with me? You you are you doing a Josh with me? Is that what you're doing? Right, also where is my Where is my scissors? Oh what? Where have I put them? Well, oh, I can't have put them that far. I would have been using them recently. Oh dear. Well, here we are again. Uh, having lost or misplaced near everything. <laughs> oh dear. By the way, I was finally quick enough to order a webcam! Yay! Congratulations. It is difficult to be fair, they sell out very, very quickly at the moment. Um, <laughs> like nothing is nothing is online. If anyone is actually like wondering, like at the moment webcams are an absolute nightmare to try and catch. Like they they, they fly by. Like trying to get anything like that is just oof. Not easy. Now, did I put it over here? Sometimes I put things right here. Now why do I do it? I don't know. Nope, not today. Not today I didn't do it. Um... Hmm. Hmm. 
Where the heck did I put it? <laughs> they wouldn't have left this room, they're fabric scissors. They can't have gone far. <laughs> the two pairs of them too. Unless did I move them right? Did I knock them off? I've knocked some stuff off. That doesn't surprise me though. Where have I put them? What about Amazon? Amazon, it, no. At least not in the UK. They'll be selling them, but they'll be selling them for double the price because it'll be like independent sellers putting them back on there again and being like, oh yes, we have them. You just have to pay twice the price. Am I dare I definitely not put it in here then? Um, mm, no, I guess I didn't. So it's like, you'll see the thing that you want and be like, oh, there it is. It's in stock, wonderful. But then it's not actually Amazon selling it. It's someone else selling it. And they're selling it extremely expensively. And you're like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? I only want to purchase one thing. I don't want to buy it for a million dollars. First time I paid quick enough to actually get it. Amazon only has an available, yeah, 1.5, two times the regular price from, yeah. Yeah, lost in the void. They are lost in the void. I, I mean, I have scissors, but they're not fabric scissors, which means it's gonna make all the, all the, the cutting things today a little bit nightmarish. I mean, I can do it, but I'm not excited to. <laughs> all right, well. It's not gonna damage the scissors at all. It's not like the other way around, but. Eh. Okay, here we go. They are, yeah, they must be lost in the void. I mean, it does. Well, that's okay, I suppose. I, I just don't know where they've gone. I wasn't. Yesterday, like I, I was editing, and that was it. I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything with, with fabric so th there's no reason that they should have gone missing well logic be damned I swear to god there we go it's just not very pleasant cutting with these scissors. They don't cut fabric very well. And if I was trying to do anything with like any precision, they'd be like, eh. But it's okay. This isn't specifically precision anything. So I can kind of get by with it. <laughs> it's, it's just not very pleasant. <laughs> right, this is a scrap. I don't need this bit. Look where your previous project is laying. Oh, I did that. My previous project is laying in the bin next to me. Uh, not in like a throwing away. Found them. <laughs> throwing away bin. But they are in fact in my sewing basket. Which logically makes a lot of sense. But I don't normally put them in my sewing basket. I normally just leave them lying around. There we go. Oh, that's so much better. So smooth. So much stronger, and I've got so much scrap now. Ugh. GG for the win! <laughs> yeah, the, the logic is there. It's they're probably in my sewing basket. Oh, I should probably leave that bit a bit taller at the top, actually. Um, I want to fall. Let's, let's leave that at the top. It's a little bit taller. I can put that over a couple of times. Because I'll need to make a waistband up there. And I want to leave some space for the waistband. Thank you, Gigi. Oh. This is fine. Although I did cut into it, which is a bit annoying. Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll just have to sew that back together. Oh. I really want to say that I make all the freaking time, which is why I thought to suggest it. Um, I wonder, what, is my small one there too? Yeah, the small ones are there too. Okay, cool. I'll probably need those later when I'm making the strips of fabric. They'll be very useful. There we go. 
for me, it's normally, it's not so much scissors. I mean, scissors I do lose, don't get me wrong. I lose scissors. But I feel like it's not scissors that I lose most regularly. Um, uh, embarrassingly enough, it's the spool of thread that I'm currently using. Because quite often, I will go between sewing on the machine and sewing by hand. So I'll take the spool of thread off the machine and start sewing by hand and then put the spool of uh, thread back on the machine. And like, I might take some time between doing those bits. And in that time, I will lose that spool of thread. And the amount of times that I've lost a spool of thread and gone and had to buy a new one. And then like maybe a, a month later, I find that spool of thread or like a week later, I find that spool of thread. Oh, I've lost so many spools of thread from taking it out of the machine and you're just getting lost and having no idea where it's gone and it's probably cost me a lot of money rebuying all of those spools of thread and ah not keen yazzy bug hi how you doing welcome i hope you're having a good day oh dear but yeah god now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I've probably spent like near 100 quid replacing spools of thread. This is also why I have loads of repeats, but half of them are used. So like, gold's a really good example. I use a lot of gold. I'm a big fan of gold. Um, I have loads of half-used gold spools of thread because I take them off the machine, lose them, buy another one. And they're all like the chunky ones as well because I use so much gold. Oh dear. May I suggest picking up a little, a little wagon? To have your craft supplies in so every time everything has a place you can move around it. Chi Chi. That's such a cute idea. I love that idea. A little wagon. My god. Yes. I mean, a lot of what I put stuff in, I don't know if you've seen these, but like, you get them in uh, like pharmacies and stuff like that. I think you're meant to put makeup in them. <laughs> I put because they perfectly fit spools of threads like I put a lighter in there to burn fabric ends uh, like this is really good for the bigger ones and also beads and stuff and then I've got like my knife my paint brushes pens for fabric little beads and pickers uh, the ends of embroidery threads when I have to buy new ones <laughs> and I put them all in there now I don't take this around with me but I for current projects I often have this at the end of the desk and then I have another one down there for if I'm doing stuff uh, on the floor. Ideally, I would transport from one to the other, but it's it's not, it doesn't work very well. Craft wagon, that's an idea I can get behind. That'd be so cute. See, if it was a, this is the thing as well. I think if it's a cute idea or it's an idea that I really love, I'm more likely to stick with it. This is just practical for keeping things on the desk and it's got little grips on the bottom so it doesn't move too easily. But if it was a cute idea, I'd probably get behind it more <laughs> and like actually stick to it. I'll to post a picture of mine in the Discord. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Oh, this is the thing though. I if you if you send it me, I'll pop it in there. But I don't think I don't know how to send permissions. Yeah. This is the thing because I don't know how to give permissions. And I'm sorry, Chi Chi. I would love to see it though. <laughs> Um, oh dear, it, it doesn't work, ah, if you wish for me I'll pop it in though, I'll, I'll do it, soup wagon, shrimp for you, I would try and get a soup wagon, absolutely, I think at this point, at this point you, you probably deserve a soup wagon, <laughs> The amount of times you've been promised soup and no soup has in fact arrived. You probably deserve one. Yeah, sorry, Chi Chi, thank you. Right, I'll pop it in chat and then I'll have a look. Me too. Okay, that, that is from Chi Chi. <laughs> not, not mine. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and, now, and now Bob will have a bit of a, oh my God. Oh, that's a big one, actually. Oh my god. That's much bigger than I thought it would be. Um, room for actual supplies and then room for fabric and stuff like that. Yeah, actually, that is that is much larger than I thought it would be. But you're not wrong. As far as having room for actual supplies, that would make a lot more sense. Because you could fit a good amount of stuff on it. Because if it, if it was smaller... <laughs> I don't know what I had in my mind, like a, a much smaller wagon, but um, 
it would, yeah, I guess because I'd need to fit a fair few pens and a fair few bits and bobs, especially if I'm taking it downstairs. But yeah, that, that makes a lot more sense. Thank you. Uh, it needs cleanup currently, but so smart. Yes. Right. Yeah, that is it's a really good idea. Right. The other thing I'm thinking right now is, do I want to add the pinstripes before I sew the pieces together? If I, I add the pinstripes before I add, uh, sew the pieces together, there's a chance that some of the pinstripes might come to a V. Which I don't think is the worst thing in the world, but on the design they do all definitely go straight down. But if I sew some of the pieces together before I add the pinstripe, there will be curves. Um, so it will get more difficult to add the pinstripes on. I don't think it will become ridiculously difficult. I think what I might do is sew two of the legs together, but not sew the entire thing together. I think that's probably going to make the most sense. So that maybe not sew the two parts of the crotch together, but sew the outside of the leg together so we can make sure that it's straight the whole way around. And then just take a little bit of extra care around this part so that they're lining up pretty well around here. At the end of the day, there's a lot of parts that will be covering this bit. But because I'm a little bit taller than the character that I'm going to be cosplaying, there's probably going to be about this bit here it will be on show whereas on the character this whole bit's covered um so because this bit's probably going to be on show i think with that in consideration yeah probably and also also we're gonna have that large leather strip and the other thing is the large leather strip i think is probably gonna have to go over do I want to put it over the top of a pinstripe? If I put it over the top of the pinstripe, it will make it more 3D because it will have like an extra like boost. Because the pinstripes are already 3D themselves. So it'll be like, like, boom, boom. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think we'll, we'll sew the outside of the two legs together. Because I think that's a good start. And then I don't think... I don't think I want to sew the crotch together just yet. I think if I do the whole, like sew it all together like a strip of a strip of trouser, that might get a little too difficult uh, to, to work all the, the bits and bobs, like with the stripes onto it. Oh dear, fancy today. I wanted to go full green. Now I, I realize it looks like I've gone full blue, but like top camera is, is doing me a little bit more accurate today. <laughs> we have noticed. <laughs> oh, how you doing today, Lasso? I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> and you send me pancakes instead. Now, in my mind, shrimp, pancakes, I think, are closer to what you would call crepes. Would you be up for crepes? Because i that's what I think of when you say pancakes. I think of, like, the really thin ones with, like, a little bit of lemon and a little bit of sugar. And it's like, mmm, that's a good pancake. <laughs> Uh, I hear soup. Soup? <laughs> I don't have any soup right now. I haven't had soup for a little while, actually. We haven't had any of the ingredients. Whenever we go down the store, they don't really have any courgettes. And <laughs> I'm, I'm not here for, for no courgette soup. <laughs> we haven't really had a lot of chicken soup recently either. So it's like, well, no courgettes. I haven't had leftover soup. There's nothing for me. Ah, uh, I hear pancakes. <laughs> something here for everyone, clearly. <laughs> you do that too? Crates of lemon and sugar, the best. The moment things maybe feel weird for that. No, I like I like the really simple, just like a little bit of lemon, a little bit of sugar, roll it up, and then be like, mmm, delicious. I I don't go too fancy with it. I'm just like I just want it. I just want it plain with like a little bit. And that's what kind of how I've always had it. That's how my parents made it for me when I was younger. And that's like how I make it for myself now. Like I don't, I don't want too much extra. And like whenever I go and like we go to, um, if, if I do go out with friends after work and they're like, do you want to get Casper's? Which is a place which does do uh, desserts. I just want, I just want, you know, a lemon and I see a command has been added. <laughs> I just want a lemon and sugar one. It's delicious. Uh, Jelly, do you know John Smith's brother? John Smith's brother. 
I do not deserve it, but hi, how you doing? Pancakes are thick for us. Yeah, I know, the, the American pancakes and ones like that, like that style, much thicker, they're fluffy. But they are nice, they're definitely nice, but it's not my style of pancake. Not the pancake that I grew up with. Ah oh dear. Covert soup? Covert, covert soup? I don't know what covert soup is! Look at it. Oh dear. Oh dear, soup. Ad word. Oh, there's ad word again. I have to listen to it. I have to listen to this. Oh no. Word to God, if it's the definition of soup. Oh, it's a soup song. Soup, soup, the tasty soup. Soup, the spicy carrot and coriander. <laughs> so, is this a good time to say that I haven't seen? <laughs> I haven't seen. <laughs> oh. oh no, I'm not going to be able to say this. Uh, Squid. Grizzgas? Grizzga? Thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. Welcome. Um, I'm sorry, Dem. Dem, I'm I'm here only to disappoint you. <laughs> oh. Our pancakes induced naps. You know, there's nothing wrong with a good nap. I realise they're not for everyone, but I get behind a good nap. <laughs> Soupy was saying earlier, I'm not familiar with it. What's in it? Is that like the courgette one? So it, I, mo I feel like most people aren't. <laughs> it's a soup that my grand makes and it's, it's courgette and cheese soup. So it's kind of like curry flavored. Uh, <laughs> one of my recipes. <laughs> kind of curry flavored, but it's, it's courgettes and they're cooked with like curry powder um, and like chicken stock, things like that. And uh, you just cook them till they're soft, blitz it, strain it, take that and you heat it up and you pop in some Philadelphia and some milk and it's courgette and cheese soup. <laughs> but it's like with flavours of like curry and and uh, chicken stock and uh, it's good and cheese. I, I don't know how to tell you that it's good, but it's good. It sounds odd, I think, on paper, but I haven't ever met anyone that doesn't like it. I think because courgette isn't a super strong taste, it takes the taste of the flavourings it's cooked with very well, so it works very well with it. Uh, strawberry with pancakes. I imagine strawberry with pancakes. Actually, I think I've had it once or twice, actually. Like, strawberry and cream. is. It, I actually quite like that one, because it is quite muted flavours, and I do like that. Uh, again, I'm a, le I'm a lemon and sugar kind of person, but strawberries, I think, would probably be my backup. Um, I'm not so much with the heavier flavours, <laughs> um, because I get full very quickly. I did like the blueberry pancakes, though. Blueberry pancakes, when I had those, were really good. Wait, I nailed it! Oh, great! Whee! This doesn't happen too often! Oh, I'm glad. I hope you're having a good day. Uh only have seen the first episode of the Mighty V. I still like this. Okay, good. I have not disappointed you too much today. I may have memorized it and I sing it when I cook! Oh, I prefer the British style pancakes grapes though. I had red velvet pancakes in New York and it's incredibly good. This is the thing, I tend to prefer, I say tend to, I do prefer like the British style ones because again it's what I grew up with. But I did like blueberry pancakes. <laughs> that was good. I did enjoy that. But um, I do tend to prefer like the crepe style ones. Uh, bacon on berry pancakes is my new favourite. Like, ooh, right there, the thin amount of syrup. Ooh, wait, is as in death clock? Death clock? Ooh, I don't, I don't know death clock. But fair enough, someone has recognised. I do not know death clock. But cool. Oh no, give me my machine, please. Require for so. Uh, machine? Ah, <laughs> uh, right. I think I might want a different green. This is quite a dark one, which you can kind of tell. It's a cartoon about heavy metal band, basically. Oh, nice! I don't know death. <laughs> this is damn. Every stream is like, wait, you don't know this? You don't know that? I think it's basically a, a good guess at this point. I don't, I, no, I don't know it. <laughs> I don't know Des, but I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Do you have a lighter green? I have like a, a this green? That's 
pretty good. I also have this one, which might be good for the one underneath, which I'll just pop next to it. Uh, I might make a new bobbin as well. Because again, competition piece in it. <laughs> competition piece in it. Gotta gotta be gotta be careful. They have all the highest selling death metal albums of all time last I checked. Do they? Oh, oh my god. I had no idea. Yeah, this is a pretty good one. Oh, they got lime colour. I don't know why I have them. <laughs> I don't know what project required me to have this colour, but here we are. I'm glad that I have it. Oh, never heard of Mermaider or Thunder Horse? Mermaider, wait, is that... Mermaid, did that, did that have like a bat metal thing? Because... Yeah, personally I'm more of a Spinal Tap fan. I know, I know that, I know that one. Yes, yes, okay, I do know that. <laughs> I, I know, I know that. There's, there was a, f okay, there's, okay, I, I, I changed my statement. There is a small amount of things that I know. I, I know that. That metal with deathcore music. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Then there is a small amount of things I know. I know. I know that. Oh, that's cool then. Huh. Learn something new because I know bat metal. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Bat metal was interesting. That was it. That was it. That was a. I. It was kind of great. <laughs> It's Prouder Jelly! Yay! Oh my god, it's never happened before! Oh my god. It is a first for everything. One of my mods is proud of me. <laughs> my god. What day is it? The 21st of, of August. There we go. 2020. One of my mods is proud of me. <laughs> it's never happened before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, my my uh, is it pop culture knowledge? Yeah, it's not. It's lacking. <laughs> uh, is it one of those weird new millennial? Oh god, that word millennial. You know, it's really tough being a millennial. Uh, it's being di <laughs> tough being millennial and not being able to say the word very well. Uh, but um, <laughs> it's one of those weird new cringe genres. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, I mean, bat metal was just metal, but like the lyrics were interesting. <laughs> I kind of liked it. <laughs> Millenni. <laughs> I, I just it's a difficult word and if I if I say it too I can say it slowly it's just when you try and say it at, at pace that it becomes a little bit tricky um metalocalypse is a cartoon show that death clock is from but the creators actually form temp bands to place shows as death clock oh nice I like Nanny Lol I like Nanny Lol <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, uh, it's just one of those words where when you say it speed, it's like a little bit difficult to get all the bits out. I mean, I used to really struggle with uh, apocalypse. Um, for the longest time, apocalypse was apocalypse. I mean, again, I feel like it was one of those words where if it was in the middle of a sentence, um, <laughs> I kind of got away with it. But as someone who's heavily into cosplay and like, I liked games and I liked zombies and stuff like that, when you can't say the word apop uh, like apocalypse without saying apocalypse, oh God, that was difficult. Oh, Chubbs, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. That was a tough, a tough time <laughs> of just constantly trying to avoid the word apop apocalypse in case you say apocalypse and people look at you like, what do you say? <laughs> Did you just say what I think you said? Be like, no! <laughs> Don't call me out on apocalypse. <laughs> um, it's a difficult word. Like, don't even. <laughs> 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 the, the 
the fun words. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's I can say it, but <laughs> Teddy is about to make pancakes. Yay! Oh wait, do you not have any? You don't get any of them, darn you, jelly. <laughs> wait, I hope you get some of them, Chi Chi. There's Metalocalypse flawlessly. Can't say Manelli Law. <laughs> Metalocalypse is fine. Nothing difficult about Metalocalypse. But Manelli Law is a difficult word. <laughs> I'm pretty big into rabbit holing YouTube for weird genres, but I never hit the metal side. This cute one gives me anxiety. This is fair. It's, it's a louder thing. And if again, I'm not someone who's specifically into often that style. Um, I think a friend of mine showed me bat metal and I was like, oh, this is cool. I, I, I quite like this, but like, I'm not really into the music side of it that often. I like that in particular, and there are definitely other ones where I specifically like this one, but like, normally it's not the genre that I would prefer. Um. <laughs> uh. Just do a night. Oh, wait, I should change the camera angle. Sorry. There we go. There's just a nice running stitch. I, I do like that this camera can't keep up though because like it just makes me feel like I'm stitching at a million miles an hour. Like I'm not, but oop. Makes me feel like I am. <laughs> uh, have you heard of chat pop? Ridiculous. I have not heard of chat pop, no. I mean at the moment I'm pretty <laughs> on YouTube. My whole YouTube page at the moment is seals. Uh, not like not like the artist seal, but like um, as as in like the animals seals. <laughs> because I I got recommended a video uh, which I did post in the Discord <laughs> of, of a seal just like vibing, like having a good time, and I clicked that, and then the se the recommended video of that was an actual like seal like. Just like, you know, having a good time after being like rescued or something, and I was like, that's cute. And then I kept clicking them, and now and now my whole recommended section is basically seals. I mean, I'm not I'm not really mad about it. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with it. But it's it's basically all seals. Uh Unpredictable hi! Oh, wait, I just came to say hi bye, I'm off to bed. I wanted to see what you're working for. Ah uh, yeah, I'm making trousers today. Watermelon trousers. That's stripey. I hope you have a nice evening though. I struggle put to pronounce Rhea. Rhea, that's fair. I mean, we all have words where it's like, this is not a word. I mean, there was one in the chat earlier that I'm not going to try and pronounce because it is one that I legitimately still struggle to this day. I'm just like, I can't. I cannot. Oh, uh, the sewing machine has gone ultra instinct. Uh, you ever you know when you're stitching at the camera frame rate? Easy. Easy. She's like, Brrr. so fast. Seal kisses. Yeah. I haven't been recommended that yet, but I'll, I'll wait for it. Eventually, eventually I'll be recommended that song. Oh dear. Very fun trousers. Yeah, they are. And like, I finally actually have the materials where I can actually make these trousers. It's been a while, but they're not super difficult, hopefully. They should be quite straightforward and you know nice to have the odd very straightforward project where you can just be like ho ho some nice trousers that I get to actually do some ironing on and make some flat pieces oh heck yeah that's what I want it's NWA era hip hop but parodied by early British gentleman characters oh okay okay it's stupid but kind of clever sick I mean, that does sound kind of fun though. That, that do be sounding kind of fun though. Oh dear. Don't jinx yourself. Yeah, I realize actually now that I've said that, that I is kind of jinxing myself. I'm gonna have like every issue under the sun now, but I have hope. Winter, hi, how are you doing? Welcome. We are doing some fun trousers today. They are the pattern of watermelon. I think they should be pretty fun. There we go. Look up. Fighting trousers. Or most of Mr. B the Gentleman Rhymer stuff. Okay. There. My very, very first pair of knitted socks of 
almost an inch in length. Congratulations on predictable. The socks are like an interesting one as well because normally don't you have to use like a thinner, um, so it's like four ply or like a thinner uh, cotton or uh, wool. It's like a, and it's a different, a different technique, but shoot the best of luck. It sounds like you're doing really well. Very thin, very thin, yeah. Oh dear. Yay, trousers. Yeah, let me go back to my normal camera. So, oh, sorry about that. This should now be one leg. And then I have the other leg. So there'll be a slight curve in it now, but that's okay. Oh dear. Very thin, nylon wood bled. I did the cast on at the toe, doing two at once. Nice. That sounds pretty good. And I hope I have a little bit extra at the top so I can maybe do a bit of elasticating at the waist to make it more comfortable. We'll see. I'd, I'd like to do that, but we'll see how that goes. Let's see how much I've given myself, because it might just be that I'll just take it in at the top at the end, but I'd like to give myself some elasticating at the top, but we'll see. And then hopefully I've given myself lots of extra fabric to be like, boof. Uh, I did... Uh, almost done cutting everything for the masks! Nice, Chi Chi. Yeah, the, the cutting out bit, I feel like that bit for me, that, that, it does take quite a while. It does take quite a while. It's doing more like the stitching bit, like not the first round of stitching, the second round of stitching for the masks, where it's like getting the top and the bottom, uh, like top stitching bits where you'd get like, if you wanted to insert a wire or whether you do it, don't or not, but like that bit takes forever for me. That's where I'm like, that's where all the time goes and I'm like, ugh. That's the bit where I'm like, ugh, no more. Oh dear, I'd never finish the second one otherwise. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, go Chi Chi and unpredictable. A very productive stream. Fighting trousers is still my favorite dish. <laughs> oh. Right. Now that these are done, this is when I want to start looking at getting my um what do you call it? My my strips in. So maybe I should. Unpredictable is going to bed. Yeah. Take care, unpredictable. Have a lovely night. Uh, I think this is when I want to get my strips done. So I should probably start looking at getting my strips cut up. What length? I think I probably want them to be the two point five. I think going for the thinner one would make them too thin. Because, I mean, these are my two options. This one I think is just going to be too thin on these trousers. I think this one's going to be... I think the two... The genre has any more depth than it has any right to. Oh... actually looking at them they do look quite thick though you'd be looking quite thick oh these these are my favorite things okay you know what I'm happy to talk about these anytime oh <laughs> uh, right so anyone that uses bias binding these are basically bias binding makers so you cut the thread out uh, sorry the, thread out, the, the fabric out to the width that it will tell you which is normally a little bit wider than either side of this. So if this is two and a half centimeters, it might be two, four centimeters uh, in width. And you thread it through on this side, the top, and it will pull out the other side. And then with an iron, you continue to pull out the fabric on the other side. And when it pulls it out, it will have folded over on either side and you will have made bias binding. Uh, bias binding um, normally costs like I want to say like the equivalent of one pound a meter ish but you can buy this for like 10 quid and make infinite bias binding and you can make it out of any fabric you want and you don't have to buy it again and because I buy bias binding all the time it's literally so much cheaper in the long run to just buy this one time and never have to worry about buying bias binding again and it, it doesn't work so well on stretchy fabrics because of course when you're pulling out with the iron you're pulling out the stretch <laughs> but um and with thicker fabrics as well as chi chi mentioned earlier 
you will have some issues with that. Um, but I use it for cottons predominantly and I have never had any issues with it. It is so much cheaper and I love them. I got metal ones and they are great and I love them. They come in lots of different sizes. I got two, uh, two 25 millimeters and 12 millimeters. So I got two different sizes. I mainly use them for things like this, making pinstripes, attaching them. I use them for my journey cosplay to make basically everything. <laughs> and oh my God, I've, I've made like so, so much of it, so much of it. Great. Uh, I'm not kidding, it's literally just that between Professor Element and Mr. B, the gentleman rhymer, and there's a whole law thing going on. Jesus Christ. It's a cool doohickey. Yeah, literally go to Amazon to buy it. I mean, they are, I, I love them. I love them. So, it's so good. Again, I'm obviously just going on them, like, obviously not sponsored by them or anything. I just love them. I just love them. Um, yeah, I just think they're great. <laughs> they, op they opened up. So much again it's just because i spent so much money on bias binding up until the point of me getting them and now that i have them i don't have to spend that money on them anymore hmm. and that's that's nice uh because for me the fabric behind me cost eight pounds for a one meter right and i am going to be doing one meter strips to get it down the length of this leg and if I'm thinking that it costs like a pound a meter for bias and I'm probably going to be doing like you know 20 strips if if you know around that um I've already saved myself 12 pound for this project and it, I'll show you in a minute how satisfying it is when you pull it through on the iron because oh, it's satisfying it's satisfying we're going to log into the next stream and there'll be a giant doohickey spread across the oh, I don't know where Jelly lands at sponsorship. Like, yo, if Prim wants to sponsor me specifically for these and send me every size that they have. <laughs> nah. To be fair, I, I, I've genuinely, whenever anyone tells me, just in life, that they, they use a lot of bias binding, whether it be for bunting or whatever, just, it takes a little bit of time you'll see in a minute to cut the strips out. I know for bias as well, you're meant to cut the strips out on the bias, so quite often it's diagonal. Um, I'm gonna try today not to do that and see if it makes a really big difference because I want to see how much of a difference that makes if I don't bother cutting it out on the bias. Uh, since I'm not specifically using it for bias uh, tape, I'm using it for something else. Uh, I wanna see if it makes a huge difference when using these devices. If it does, I'll go back to what I was doing before it does generally recommend that you cut it diagonally. I'm going to try cutting it vertically. Um, I might go for the thinner one. Actually, the more that I look at it, just... They are quite thin stripes. I'm just going to... Like, they're quite thin stripes. <laughs> I don't know. Like... Sure. A makeup munchkin today at minimal high. So I've just destroyed my face. How are you doing? Yeah, I was playing with makeup this morning. I also drew some musical notes on my face, but you can't see them. I'm gonna go buy yarn. Yes, Chi Chi. Oh my God, that sounds fun. Good luck. I hope you find all the yarn you're looking for. I just don't know if the thinner one might be better. We create them thinner lines though. Maybe the thin one would be better. The thicker one might be too big. Mm. And then because we meant to have that big thick one down the side. Okay, I think we're gonna do the thinner one. I might have just completely backtracked there, but I think... Oh, you can see the garbage door behind there. Yeah, I just layer up all the photos. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a different scene. I just layer everything up. <laughs> uh, there we go. Get back in there. Please. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'll do. <laughs> oh dear. I don't like buying yarn. So many strings attached. God damn it, minimal. Right. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. 
how much extra was it that I needed? So it tends to fold it into the middle. I think for 12 millimeter, it probably wouldn't be terrible to just double it. 24. Because that would then fold it straight to the center. Oh. Uh, the music on your face, no. Did. Ha ha. Sorry, I'll see myself to the corner. You do that. Do that, Minimal. I was gonna show you the music on my face and then I realized it was a pun. Oh, have a nice look, Lasso. Oh, dear. Dear. Right, I'm gonna try a. I guess it'd be 2.5 because that's gonna be a little easier. But I'll have to actually measure this. That's okay. I can do that. I can I can do an actual measurement. Um now. Leave. That's a meter, which means I want to do it by this way. Love my jokes. I love hate the jokes. Oh, and Lou, thank you so much for the follow. That's very, very kind of you. Welcome. I'm going to be actually moving some stuff to one side because I'm going to want to put my ironing board down once I've done all this because we're going to be making some bias tape. But let's get some measuring done first. This is when it's like I need another one of my tools, which may or may not be missing. <laughs> Let me teach you again to tell me where I've put my tools because I don't know where I've put them. Ah! Oh no, I see it, I see it, it's on the floor. It's on the floor! I don't know, hello! <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Oh dear. And it's not just, it's like, good evening? Oh dear, sorry, I just need to, to move my chair away because I don't know. I'm putting things. <laughs> Any type of love is good. Oh no! Oh dear, no, the jokes are good. The jokes are good. I need two and a half centimeters. It's a bit of a raggedy edge here. Uh, I think this is because this is where the end of the fabric was in the store as well. So I might go a little in because I might give that a bit of a trim. I'm just using a. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. Oh dear. Oh, he said good evening, cutie beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh dear. Don't get startled by this watermelon pants. Well, it's too late for that, Zero. I've already been startled. Thank you. It's very kind of you, Zero. Oh. It is too late. A bit of PSL. Oh. Every time. Every time. Thing when you have a. I don't know if this is the right colour. I, I think maybe a stronger pen. Oh, God. Completely ignored my instructions. Shaking my head. What? At the same time that I saw the instructions, I had already jumped zero. I don't know what you expect from. <laughs> what am I meant to do? Although, Zero, you were just in time to see some some bias hopefully be made very satisfyingly. Although, I do need to cut this piece out first. Uh, I'm going to practice it with just the one first to make sure that the sizing is correct because I am just going by a guess. But I haven't done this on stream and I've been hoping that I would have a reason to do this on stream soon. Oh, Jack Gozio, thank you so much for the follow. That's very kind of you. A more reasonably volumed alert. There we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. Anders, we love you guys. Bye. I'll see you around. Anders, have a lovely night. Oh dear. That was the point. Oh ho. <laughs> I'm gonna lurk, finally finish making dinner. That is fair, enjoy your dinner. Oh, uh, right. Get this piece out. 
hopefully this should be a good size. I am going to slightly point one of the edges. The reason being, it's going to be a little bit difficult to thread it through with the current thickness that it is. Um, if I don't point the edge, I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Because I realise just me saying point the edge is going to be a bit like, what? But I'll show you. Um... Some of those cuts are a bit a bit iffy, but that's okay. I'll just trim off. This is the extra bits I was talking about as well, which I think just because it's just come straight from the store. And you know, get them raggedy edges. Right, put that behind me. I pop these on the cushion and gravel it. This should be longer than the trouser at the very least. But on one side it's got this part that's a bit, I don't know, kind of like odd on the inside. And I'll take that and just do that with it. And I think it should still be long enough to go down the entire leg. So I don't think it should be an issue, but it just means when I'm trying to thread it through this thing, it will be a little bit easier because you kind of want a point to start threading it through. If you don't have that point, it just becomes near impossible to start threading it through. And hopefully, there we go. And you get that point and you pull it out the other side. And then it's just about keeping this bit centered at the top. And at the other side comes, yeah. So let's see if I can show you this. So of course I've not ironed it. Uh, it comes out the other side like that and then when you iron it flat you get like a bias and then of course it'll be perfect on the other side as well and that's a really nice flat bias I try and show on this camera too because that camera is a bit difficult to show the really like <laughs> the really bits like that too but on the other side is where it's kind of important which is the back which is as it comes out of there it folds it for you and then when you iron it you can iron that bit at the back flat and it's just, of course, when you're guiding it through, making sure you're guiding it through, like, straight, which is really easy to do. But yeah, just bring it out and you get, like, these bits that's folded over for you. And then you just iron that down and you've got bias. But of course, I'm going to pull that back for now because I don't need that just yet. <laughs> Start that there. And it's really easy and amazing. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's like... You know, but like such a thin bias as well. It is much easier with cotton, but oh, I just, I just love it. I love, I love it. It's my favorite. Right, I need my ironing board, and I need my iron. Sh should already have some water in it, so we should be good with that. Just gonna grab those two. Ready, ironing board. Okay, ironing board, and. Hopefully, actually, I might pop my microphone down quickly so I can grab the iron. There we go. I'll need to let that start heating up and such, but that should be good. Oh, thank you. Jack, that's very, very kind of you. Oh dear. I've been a bit quiet on Instagram recently because my most recent project with the Garbador has been taking me forever. But hopefully I can post some stuff again on there soon. Nat, hi! Oh my god. How are you doing? Wait, I need to do some shout outs for people really quickly. So I realised there are some people in chat that I should probably be shouting out. But let me just turn this iron on. Love ironing! Oh, I am glad because this is... Oh my god, wait, Nat, do you use bias binding makers? Because we are doing... This is what we are doing now. We are now bias binding making. Oh dear. 
What have you done? Oh, I saw that. It's okay, don't worry, Winter. I got you. <laughs> and uh, we also need to do other shout outs. <laughs> We have, because Den's very, very funny. Very funny streamer. Then we also have, who just popped into chat. This person. Who is very funny. And very, very talented maker and crafting streamer. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Have we Oh dear. <laughs> the spoons. Look at my message above, please. Oh dear. Which one? Hmm. Oh, we've had two Nat shout outs. Oh dear. <laughs> we get shout out Nat twice. That's fine. She gets two. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Oh, uh, clapping! Hi, how you doing? Good afternoon. I hope you're having a good afternoon. You are just in time to see what I believe to be one of the most satisfying things, <laughs> and that is these. It is a bias binding maker. You cut out strips of fabric and then you thread them into here, just based on the like how wide they tell you to cut them out, depending on which width of bias binding maker you are making, and then you you hold it and you iron it through and it makes bias binding out of any fabric you want and I love it oh above the shout out oh Lily look Hidden Rainbows is a twitch artist and lovely as all beans and she's closing her online store in 10 days oh no why oh it's a jellyfish oh it's stunning oh Oh, it is so, so pretty. Oh, now she reads. Now I read. I am slow, I am sorry. Oh dear. Hold on, clapping lemon cheeks. Clapping lemon cheeks, yes. I don't know what else you need. It's the best. Oh dear. Honestly, we love, we love good names here. Right, are we a good temperature? Right, yeah, so what you do is you've got like a little holdy thing if you need it, but I tend to just hold it by here. And then you just make sure that it's staying going in. And then we just, Oh, look at all that. <laughs> I follow it. Oh my God. Whoa, is that bias binding? <laughs> It is. It's very thin bias binding, and then you just. You could do this another way and just like hold it still where the iron is and actually just pull it through. But I tend to move the iron because otherwise the iron doesn't like staying in one place too long. My desk's underneath also. Oh dear. I'm dying over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's all you need to do. Smile every day. Oh, Hidden Rainbows. Wait, they have some... these are the emotes from Hidden Rainbows? Oh, oh wait, I didn't I didn't connect those dots there. That's amazing. You've totally done that for me. Problem with lemmings is if you clap one set of cheeks, you've got to clap them all. <laughs> you clap. What am I ironing? So this is a bias binding maker. They're like a little contraption that if you cut this, um, the pieces of fabric to the size they ask you to, you can thread it through and it makes bias binding for days. Oh, Turf, thank you for the host. That's very kind of you. I think Jelly was there for that. I need this. It's like for people that make a lot of bias binding, they're really good because they cost like 10 quid. But bias binding is like a pound a meter, right, normally. Uh, especially for like just normal cotton ones and it means you can make it out of any fabric that you want and oh my god is it satisfying like <laughs> oh. you just have to concentrate on making sure it stays center but that's about it <laughs> that's about it oh dear <gasps> good morning Turf. 
Oh yeah, a good shout out for Terp, because Terp is of course another very, very talented artist. Who does most incredible comedy for the talented talentedest of arts. Oh dear. Oh shit, it's like, get out of town. Get out of town. Uh, uh, I see. <laughs> I plan to make a lot of small purses, so I need a lot. Oh my god, it, it, for people that like, especially for like, yeah, people that makes a lot of things that will use some bias binding, like bunting, purses, things like that, or for me in my cosplays, it, it just saves you so much money, even for this project where I kind of think that I'll probably need about, you know, maybe like 20 meters of it for like the pinstripes on the uh, pants. I'm, you know, <laughs> I, it cost me eight pound for one meter of this, for and I'm cutting it into the strips. And if I'm thinking I might have spent twenty pound on just the bias, I've already saved twelve pound by doing it like this. And yeah, it's it's really nice. It just basically folds over on the other side for you, so you've got like the bias just folded over. I've ironed it, and it, it's just it's bias binding now. It's done. It's that quick, that easy. I, I mean, I was barely concentrating on it, to be quite honest. And this is the thinnest one you can get, which is actually the most difficult one to do it out of. The thicker the bias binding maker, the easier it is to do. <laughs> Will the purses include lemming cheeks? I'm oh, asking the important questions today, I see. <laughs> lemmings, maybe. Cheeks? No! Right, I'm gonna... I'm going to turn this off because now I'm just going to, now that I know that this is a good thickness and this works, I'm going to cut all of the strips and then I'm going to iron all of them at once. I also got the metal ones in case people are looking to purchase these um, because the plastic ones, I'm not sure how high of a heat they can handle, but I put my, my iron on maximum. So I just, I went straight to that. Oh dear. Has to be done the amount of free games you get. It's so worth it. Uh, I can't even got a year of PS Plus. Yes. Yes. I had to actually swap, so I don't know, I think I mentioned this briefly on stream. I got locked out of my, my PS account <laughs> because it has my old phone on it, which uh, unfortunately I had to change. And because it's got the phone authentication and I could not for the life of me work out how to fix that. And we, I was going through all of these things and trying to fix it and I just couldn't do it. So I made a new, I, I canceled my old, my old PS uh, Plus account and got a new one. And that's why the name a, a Crafty Jellyfish is not my name, because some bitch has A Crafty Jellyfish. You know who it is? Me. <laughs> I have it. And so I have to be just Crafty Jellyfish, because the person who has A Crafty Jellyfish is also me, but on my other account. <laughs> oh dear. The mild anger. The mild anger. It's there. I took my own name away from me. Oh god. <laughs> Goes to Tsushima to and now the multiplayer was the deciding factor. That's that is fair. Any tips on cutting nice even strips? So I I fold the fabric into, you know, like as it is back there, and then I use a ruler and I literally draw it and then I cut up that, pin it and cut it up it. Because when you fold it over, uh, well sorry, when the um, thing folds it over, you don't see the sides anyway. So the back of the bias for me is not important. Um, you don't see those bits, so I don't mind if there's a little bit of pen on it. I mean, also it would wash off, but like, I don't mind that. <laughs> uh, so I just use a, a pen and do that. Um, bias is like adjustment elements on the cosplay. Like, um, what makes it more expensive than regular fabric? So because it's cut, uh, so bias is like the tape. So it's not like fabric, it's like some, it's like a accessory. So it's like, um, like ribbons and things like that. But um, it, it's just something that you also buy with the costume. So sometimes when you're looking at a, a pattern, it might say you need zip poppers, this much bias tape. But if you can make that tape yourself, it's more cheap. In the same way that sometimes if you can make things yourself, it's cheaper. Like in cooking, if you can make bits yourself, it's cheaper than it is to buy the ready-made one. That sort of thing. Uh, it's just cheaper if you can make it yourself. And this means that you can make it yourself, and in the long run, it ends up being a hell of a lot cheaper. It's that. If that makes sense, Tup. Um Isaiah Horn, hi! Boops! 
We can do a horn for these days. Is that why there are two crafty jellyfish? One of them's a crafty jellyfish and one of them is crafty jellyfish. They are both me. Blue or is it green lipstick or eye and eyebrows? They are green, but I, yeah, I get it. They they definitely, they look blue. And I did, I did some musical notes. Not that you can see them really, but I did them. Oh dear. <laughs> Brand recognition. Oh no. And the stars. Ah, oh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna pop this just to here. And we're gonna move this. One jellyfish is clearly crafted than the other if it managed to get the OG username. Clearly. There was there's an A crafty jellyfish and just a crafty and just crafty jellyfish and I am just crafty jellyfish because A crafty jellyfish is locked out of their account <laughs> and it will not get back in because that phone is gone. Oh dear. Loving the makeup today. Is it blue or is it green? It's green, <laughs> but it looks blue. Oh god, it be like this. Yeah, because I was like, I want to be like Swamp Witch, but. You know, sometimes your camera's like, you're gonna be aquatic. And it's like, I guess that's fine. It wasn't quite what I was going for, but that's fine. <laughs> Aquamarine jelly. Closer to purple than blue. It is not closer to purple than blue. <laughs> Refuse that statement. <laughs> oh. Right, and now I'm just gonna do loads and loads of strips. Do them all at once, and... Yeah, just make them all and then yeah I, I also pin them together uh, once I've done them it's just to keep them safe because sometimes it can if you leave it for a really long time start to unravel just a little bit on the thinnest ones the thicker ones tend to stay I learned this with the journey cosplay because I was making so much bias um, that if I left it for a long time the thinner ones started to unravel just a little bit again I didn't have any issue with the thicker ones it was just these thin ones so just keep it bundled up a bit uh, yeah. Learn from that mistake, I will. I remember making it and just being like, wait a minute, do I have to re-iron any of this? A bit of a pain. Not super difficult, but I'd rather it stay together and... Again, the thicker ones I didn't have any sort of issue with, but thinner ones I had, I had mild issues with. I think it is just because they are so thin. That because the fabric's maybe a little bit thicker, it just it just pops it apart a little bit. Or it could just be because I don't iron it for quite long enough. That could also be it. Maybe if I don't iron it for quite long enough at parts, those parts have like a tendency to buckle apart. But yeah, I really like the level leather top on top of the turtleneck. You know, salty of the touch. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a really good look. I mean, this has kind of been one of my favorite looks for a long time. But like, I you know, in hot weather, it's like an absolute no. But um. This is like one of my favourite looks for like, you know, if I want to have a slightly nicer day or like a slightly dressed up day, this is what I wear. This and like I have maybe one or two other outfits for like, I'm having a dressed up day. A dressed up day. Normally it's, I don't wear green underneath, I normally wear burgundy. I'm a very burgundy person. I like burgundy. <laughs> At the moment, I'm not super keen on burgundy with the colour of my hair because it's a bit Christmassy. <laughs> and I like Christmas, but it is also August. And I don't know if I'm up for that just yet. Although I did buy a Christmas present. <laughs> I bought a Christmas present and I was like, mm, mm, this is okay. It was just, I just thought it was a really good one and I just happened to see it and I was like, ah, I might as well pick it up now. Might as well. I did, I did pick up a Christmas present. So maybe I am getting in a Christmassy mood already. Maybe I should be wearing Christmas gear already. Very professional and the leather gives it a bit of flair. Ah, thank you. Yeah, a little bit of leather. A little bit of leather. <laughs> leather. The only thing is, yeah, with like pleather, it does get very warm. 
<laughs> I mean, fortunately, it's not too warm of a day yet. But yeah, welcome back, them. We are just doing lots and lots of stripes. To, uh, you know, be able to cut all these pieces out. Because then it's just like ironing them one after the other. And it's very satisfying. <laughs> I love making the bias tape. <laughs> making the bias tape is, is, it quickly became one of my favorite things to do. Making it all for the journey cosplay. I mean, it was a little bit stressful because of course I was making it as a surprise uh, for Shiny. So I didn't want it to be like, I didn't want him to find out, but the bias tape was definitely one of my favorite bits. <laughs> making a cosplay for someone when you don't want them to find out, but you also live with them is never something that I'm going to do again, but it's super difficult. Because you have to clean every single day, like you, because cosplay leaves a lot of threads, it leaves a lot of mess, and I used to craft in the living room, so it wasn't even like I could be like, just don't go in the sewing room for a while. It was the living room, so it was like tricky. Oh dear, ay, oh dear. Stay in your lane, Christmas. Christmas, get back. Welcome world, uh, Lord, world? Welcome, welcome world. <laughs> welcome Lord, how are you doing? Just saying hi because I'm busy and not doing well. Oh no, but I love you and hope you all have a wonderful week and I am so sorry. Oh dear, slay in the lipstick. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Lord. <laughs> welcome world. Oh dear. Ap apologies that you are not doing well right now. I hope that things get better for you soon. Wishing you all the best. Oh dear. Yeah, Dev had his had a, had his win. I saw it. I saw it yesterday. It was a good win as well. You pop a span around into that guy. Like it was good. Oh dear. Dev has joined the Dev Club. Yeah. Hope you feel better. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hi. How you doing? Welcome. We are gonna be making some bias tape. It doesn't sound exciting when you call it just bias tape, but like, it exciting though. I, I get hyped for bias tape. <laughs> oh dear. Proud of you, Dem. Last second on the clock too. Oh yeah, it was proper hype. It was like, you know, it'd gone kind of one way for a while and then suddenly it was like, kabam! And you know, people were watching you. If you had, if you had Nat on in the, not, not Nat, um... It's not that. It's uh, if you had tails on in the background, it, <laughs> it was like one of the funniest things. This is like one of the funniest things. Oh, thank you. The no jelly club. The jelly never has any wins club. Oh dear. Those funny little stars he drew around your one eye. No. <laughs> no. They're musical notes. But it's really difficult to see them because I've put my microphone right in the way. But they are in fact musical notes. <laughs> oh dear. A bit hungover, but I'm all right. I hope you improve soon. Get some, get some good greasy food or something. <laughs> you feel better soon. Oh dear. I'm doing well. This is one of my favorite things. Again, I realize it doesn't sound very hype, but. I'll try and show soon once I've got a reasonable amount of strips to start with, but like making bias tape with the bias tape makers, oh, so satisfying. Oh dear. Yeah, that was hilarious. Tiff's commentary was top. Oh my god. Yeah. See, I never know whether to call her Tiff or Tails because I've always called her Tails. I, just, <laughs> I, I always just call her Tails. Oh. <laughs> uh, why am I making a tiny American football field? Listen, it's very important to me that I make it a tiny American football field right now. It's incredibly important. Oh, you know to the design just wasn't sure the shape. Yeah, they're meant to be little little music little music notes. And then there's one on this side that went kinda wrong. <laughs> so it's got two tails. <laughs> um, because I wasn't sure which weight was gonna be up, and then I realized they're all backwards for you anyway. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Uh, she's fine with either. I always call it Tails. <laughs> and then it's like Tiff, and I'm like, oh yeah, I could call it Tiff. But Tails, though. <laughs> uh, Tails of Tiff, love. Oh. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe let's get to ten and then do that. And then we'll go back again. Uh, I think ten is probably a good place to start. Uh, And I can cut them out. And then maybe I could have a look at pinning them to... Oh, actually no, let's get nine because then I've already got one done and then I have an even number to start. That's one, two, eight. So I only actually need one more. Ah, uh, So you're gonna make the guitar? Yes, but unfortunately, so I went to Hobbycraft with the intention of one of the things I was getting to be a a wood vinyl, but they didn't have any. I mean, at the moment, supply is difficult, so it's not their fault, but um, they didn't have any, unfortunately. So I'm looking at getting some online. It's just the delivery is a little bit longer online, which is why I was really hoping that they might have some in store. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm going to be ordering some online. It's just because we are getting near the stage now where with the main body of the guitar we are going to be looking at covering that pretty soon and what i don't want to do is get to that point on the stream and be like one hour stream here we go because i can't get any further and so yeah um what we're gonna do is wait for that to arrive and when that gets here we will continue to make sure that you know we don't end up making a incredibly short stream because I can't physically get any further due to lack of materials. Um, and then we'll start looking at continue building. And then once we get to that point, it means I can cover the guitar. And yeah, then it would be the, the vinyl over the top. And then building from there. So let's, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Slow processes. They're all slow processes with this one. But I, I like them. I like the processes involved. It's going to attempt to make... I had to say aside that I don't trust these cameras flipping all over. Oh, got these flippy, flippy cameras. They do, they do be going all over the place though. They do be. You're not wrong. Oh. Dear, dinner is cooked and eaten. Work is done. Weekday officially over. Congratulations. My weekday, well, my work, my work week starts tomorrow. Uh, got a late shift tomorrow. Exciting stuff. <laughs> I'm not as keen on the late ones because I end up getting back very late. But that's okay. That is okay. I don't work them super regularly. Oh dear. PSI, hi, how you doing? Welcome. Hope you're having a good day. We are going to be cutting these out and making some more bias binding. <laughs> Why is binding tape? It sounds really boring on paper, but ah, oh, just you wait. My favourite. <laughs> A very important question. Is your lipstick blue or is the camera lying again? Lipstick is not blue, lipstick is green. All of the makeup is green. <laughs> Everything is green. It's okay. I, I, yeah, you know what? I came on camera fully knowing that it was going to look like I was aqua. And it's all right. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, but it do. Oh, thank you, CSI. It's very kind of you. I, I woke up and I was just kind of like, I fancy doing makeup today. I don't normally do makeup, but today I felt like it. It was just a day where I was like, yeah, let's become swamp lady. And I realized that people on the stream were going to be like, I can't see the swamp. And it's like, it's okay. For me, I shall become a swamp lady. <laughs> oh dear. Mermaid! Yeah, so on stream I'll be a mermaid, but to me, I am a swamp lady. Or a swamp witch. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Let's get these pieces cut out. And... go. I'm just going to move this off the desk and uh, grab the tea. Uh, jelly made! Oh, okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with jelly made. 
That'd be kind of that'd be kind of all right. Ooh. Thing is, I do have a blue lipstick that is like really bright blue. Like it's like a like almost neon turquoise kind of color, which would probably exactly match the color that my hair appears on screen. Maybe I could try. <laughs> the thing is, it kind of looks a bit intense. I don't know. I'd have to do something like outline it, I think. Otherwise, it just kind of looked like I think my mouth was glowing. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> Going to the Philly tomorrow and doing board games this time Sunday should be a good weekend. It almost feels normal. Yeah, now you mention it, actually, that does almost seem like a very, very normal weekend. In fact, it sounds like a very good weekend, but also very normal, yeah. That's really good, though. Again, like, the more normal that the weekends can be, it's a really good sign that things are, in some areas, able to return to normality. I think, I think it's a good. I think it's a good. Like, of course, it's not the same everywhere, because ev everywhere in the world is at very different stages, but in the areas that are able to do that, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> like, it was honestly just nice for us to be able to go to Hobbycraft. Like, that was good. <laughs> it was a bit weird because in, in the Hobbycrafts, uh, one of the things you have to do is you're not allowed to be in the same aisle as another customer. So, uh, when you're shopping, if the thing that you want is in an aisle where another customer is, you have to wait for that customer to leave that aisle. So that's a little difficult to navigate around, because uh, of course, like a lot of people so, or and might want, for instance, thread. So of course, and there's not a queuing system for the aisles as such. So that's that was clearly like not the easiest to navigate for some a areas. Like I was quite lucky in that the things that I was picking up weren't super busy. Uh, most people weren't around the fabric specifically. It did seem like the threads were more busy and the wool was busy, but I didn't really need wool. And I wanted like polystyrene, uh, some polystyrene balls and I wanted, you know, vinyl, but there, there wasn't any there, but I, I did have to wait for that. But I was the only person waiting for that. So that wasn't so bad and stuff like that. But it is, it is definitely odd, like that kind of thing, but you know, it was just honestly nice to go. Be able to actually go into that sort of shop. That's a very tough restriction. Wow. Yeah. The, it, the, the aisles aren't huge, but there's a lot in those aisles. Like if you've ever been to that kind of craft store, they pack a lot into those aisles. Um, so it's not, it's not like just one aisle where it's all one thing. It's like a lot of different things on those aisles. So it does become very different where it's like you might have a different hobby to someone else but like in that aisle but both need to be there and so that does make it quite tricky and again it's, it's, it's no one's fault I and mean, fortunately again it wasn't it's not heavingly busy in those kind of places at the moment um but yeah it was a not the easiest restriction to navigate. Again, waiting for someone to leave the aisle before you could go into the aisle. Like a two meter rule is much easier to follow, but not going into the aisle at all was difficult. <laughs> it's a little bit weird, like the footy is limited to 10,000 in a 53,000 capacity stadium. They're limited to 10 visitors in, at your home, yeah. Um, stadium one, I imagine that, I can understand why. Of course they'll be losing money off of that. The 10 visitors in the home. I'll be honest, I am looking forward to being able to invite someone over. I can understand why it's not able to. But we moved here and no one has seen our house. <laughs> and that's, that's a, I don't know. It'd be nice if like, you know, even if just my parents could see this house. Um, that'd be, that'd be really nice. Stuff like that, it'd be nice. I mean, we're only renting, but <laughs> I feel like at this rate, we will move to another house before anybody ever sees this house that we've lived in. Oh, uh, this. 
Yeah. It is interesting for sure. Are you ready? I think it's also quite difficult to navigate the restrictions at the moment, at least in this country. And again, this is my opinion. There, there are some that it's like, I, I know where I stand with them very easily. Like, of course, wearing masks on public transport, I, I know where I stand with that. But for a while, it wasn't mandatory in Wales. <laughs> And so I can understand where people get confused on it because it was it straight up wasn't mandatory in Wales to wear a mask on public transport. So now that it is again, it's confusing. And, um, you know, if you're not the kind of person who is inclined to necessarily watch television, you might not know that's the case because the signs haven't changed. <laughs> and so you wouldn't necessarily walk up to the train and be like, I have to wear a mask. There's nothing indicating that you have to wear a mask. Um, so I can understand where people are getting confused and stuff like that. And like the two meter rule, for instance, very aware that of course I, I need to stay two meters apart. But there's also, again, if it's a busy train, they'll just keep getting people on there. It doesn't matter that you have to stay two meters apart. There is no restriction on the amount of people that can enter the train. So although you do need to stay two meters apart, if it's a busy day, ah, you just keep getting on. So it, it, it's, again, I can understand where it can get a little confusing because although it's like, there are these restrictions and it's like, of course I know that you're staying two meters apart from people. It's like, unless you can't. <laughs> and that's kind of, I think where it is at at the moment, at least around here, which is, uh, uh, we Slovenia have had a rise in cases here on people that are returning from vacation to Croatia. Frustrating, yeah. I, I can understand it being very frustrating as well, if, if, especially for people that are taking those precautions and, and trying very hard to maintain that distance and stuff like that. I mean, in my, in, in our sort of cases, I feel like it, it's often not necessarily anyone's specific fault. <laughs> if, if, the, if, everyone has to get onto a train to get to work and it's not physically possible to social distance it's not really physically possible to social distance and we all still have to get to work you know <laughs> that is how it is and again like you know you can wear masks and stuff like that and you know on the trains it is pretty good people are wearing masks and stuff like that for the most part except for like the odd one or two and you could almost count that to the people that aren't physically able to wear masks i'm not going to say that it always is the people that aren't physically able to wear masks that aren't wearing masks but you could count that as a percentage that aren't um but it's it's i don't know eh. uh, it's it's a little like well it does kind of feel like even if you do everything that you could, it doesn't really matter anyway. Trains probably have decent ventilation as well. We don't really have any windows that open on our trains. Um, I don't, I don't know what it's like for other other trains, but um, maybe the more the more modern trains do. But our trains don't have openable windows, <laughs> so it's all kind of just like you're in there and it's hot. <laughs> Um, again, I think probably the more modern trains have openable windows, but um, we don't. So it's just kind of like, you're just in there. It, it's what it is at the end of the day. There's really no getting around it. Like, I have to get to work and that's fine. That's just to get over it. Again, not get over it, but like, you know, get on with it. I have to get on that train get to work if it's heavingly busy because everyone else also has to get on that train to get to work so be it <laughs> it'd almost be good though if there was maybe because unfortunately um again i understand why but if there was like a couple of extra carriages or something that would have maybe been good i understand why there isn't but that would maybe have been good oh dear Pretty quiet today. I can fix this. Ah, oh, 
A horn! Oh no! A horn! We can do a horn. <laughs> Fix the quietness. A horn. Right, and now we can do the stuff that's actually satisfying. Which is, you know, don't get me wrong, I don't mind cutting up pieces of fabric and such like that. But like, oh no, Psycho, your head! I'm so sorry! I'll warn you next time. Apologies. But this is a satisfying bit. Right. Satisfying bit be here. And that is taking these pieces through here and having it folded in bias binding. The power of iron. Thank you. Right, let's put it over here. There we go. Pull it there and it just threads through. And oh my god. There we go. <laughs> That's some bias binding tape. <laughs> it looks so weird on the screen, just like a little tongue that pokes out. That's funny, I just found my channel stats and went to Wyvern is my top chatter! But 200 times I seems normal when Dideless, uh, who said, has me muted and doesn't watch because spoilers, has the second most. Oh my god! Nice. Well, no headphones it is. Oh, I'm sorry. What is this ironing magic? Oh. Uh, Hello, Will! How is everyone? I am good, thank you, Will. I hope you are doing well. Oh, Winter. You chatty bug, you. <laughs> you make snake. I do make snake. But I make bias binding snake. It just go through. Like, woo. Oh, it's so satisfying to love it. Love it so much. Makes me so happy. I wonder if I can get another angle of this actually. Like, how many angles can I get of this? If this is the most satisfying thing. For some reason it has a slight stretch. <laughs> I don't think that would matter because it is flat, but it's gonna give this a bit extra iron. Have some more ironing. Oh! <gasps> no! No! My hard work! I messed it. I soiled it. <laughs> no! No! Get back down there! That was on me. That was not on the contraption. I messed that up. But I can flatten it again. There we go. Okay. It's okay. Fixed it! Fixed it! Who is the little man in the corner of my screen? That is the bard from... Oh, I love this song. <laughs> that is the bard from the Pathfinder uh, guidebook. Uh, Three Goods the Pathfinder second edition guidebook and that is the costume that I've been making for a very long time now and yeah this is the other way you can do it by the way which is you can just do this uh, it's a little bit more difficult to control the angle of which it goes in so I don't intend to do it with the thinner ones sorry I should mention that but this is another way you can do it which is just <laughs> Holding it like this and pulling it through. It's being like, yeah, there you go. It does mean the iron sits still a little bit longer. So I'm not so keen on doing it like that. We can do it like that. Top left corner, yeah! That it that is the bard from Pathfinder. Yeah, I, pr I prefer pulling it like that. Nice. Squeak, 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 squeak. Yes, keep looking the eye and still also miss a burn to your table exactly. So, prefer not to do it like that. But it do be quick though. And there's another one. 
have absolutely no idea who that is. Yeah, so Pathfinder, uh, do you know D&D &D at all? Or uh, Dungeons and Dragons? So Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons are quite similar, they're both roleplay games. A lot of people do like Pathfinder because it's quite quick and easy to get off the ground. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons can take a little bit longer. So sometimes people go and play Pathfinder, it's quite an easy game, and I like Pathfinder a lot. Um, not always, I, I don't want to generalize it that much, but like, I find Pathfinder is quite a good, quick, quicker game to start up. It's got some unbalances, but like, I do like it. And this is in the guidebooks for D&D and for Pathfinder. They uh, show, you know, like pictures and examples of the classes and things like that. And the example of the bard is this character and in Pathfinder. So not in Dungeons and Dragons, but in Pathfinder, this is the example of the bard. And he pops up a few times, so there is quite a bit of art of him. And yeah, that's that's one of the cosplays I'm making. It's like a kind of an overarching cosplay. It's a cosplay I've been making for a while. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I just really, when I saw the art in the book, I was just kind of like instantly like, I really love that. It was just some art that I just thought was like pretty stunning. And often the art from these books is just really, really good. And yeah. Ick too. Blood of Dungeons Dragons. I've never played it. That's fair. It's not going to be for everyone. But yeah, have, have a nice cup of tea then. I started a third D&D campaign next week. Nice. We only have two on the go right now. And that, to be fair, for now, that's enough for me. But I have, I have Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, later and that's that's good still going with vampire the masquerade uh. yeah. going backwards this time back this way there we go get that bias flattened Power of iron. The nice thing about this one as well is the bias has a slight pattern to it. So it matches the color that is gonna be underneath, but like just a little bit darker. And I like that, I like it a lot. Two online though, well right now for me, all of the ones that I play are online. There are people that I know in real life, but like they are all online just because of course we can't visit other people's houses. So it's like very difficult for us to meet up and play d and in, in person. Uh, I'd love to try Vampire the Masquerade. I love the Bloodlines video game. Yeah, a lot of people had, a, you know, myself included, seen the, bump, uh, the Bloodlines video game. So it's like, we had an idea of um, the world already, but... Yeah, it... it the, the game is... Uh, the, the roleplay game, it's, it's really fun. Really fun. I mean, it helps again that I've got a DM that's really, really good, and the players as well. Really, really fun. We've got antagonists, we've got like people that are like working with us, working against us, like we've we got all, all sides and it's, it's really fun because of that, I think. Uh, oh my god, all the cups of tea, whoa! This all looks really handy, I want one, Cacadia, hi! Yeah, so basically if you're someone that uses a lot of bias binding or bias tape, oh my god, oh my god, it saves so much money! And they come in lots of different sizes, so I'm using a really thin one right now, I'm using the 12mm. But, uh, so which is actually the most difficult one I think to handle, but all of the other ones, oh my god, I love them so much, I use them so frequently, I can't even tell you how often I use them, and it just, compared to how expensive like bias tape is, which I realise it's not super super expensive, but like I buy so much of it that it adds up so quickly, it adds up so quickly, <laughs> and yeah, it, 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 yeah. <laughs> Compared to like the price of just buying the regular cotton material and then cutting it in strips and doing this, which is actually pretty satisfying to be quite honest, this ends up being a hell of a lot cheaper. And I can make any bias tape that I want. This one has a pattern on it and I like it. <laughs> oh, we're getting into making custom dice recently. Yes. Very nice. I would love to maybe try doing that at some point. 
even better if I can make a custom dice that also rolls a lot of nat 20s. That would be lovely because for some reason my dice hate me. They hate me with a passion. Oh, so many cups of tea and then some bombs. You know, tea and bombs. <laughs> oh dear. I like it too. <laughs> oh, the stream brought to you by Dueggy. Oh no. Oh, Wing, thank you so much. Yeah, I woke up today. I was like, I fancy being green. Now I realize on stream I'm very blue, <laughs> but I fancy being green. And here we are. And we're making some tape, some tape. And Wing has a cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, them have a cup of tea? Them, did you make yourself a cup of tea? Surely there's enough water left in the kettle for yourself as well. Oh. Uh, making custom dice out of resin seems pretty simple, but there are a lot of things to mess up. Yeah. You don't want you don't want bubbles. Because that's gonna throw off how accurate the the thing is. And of course you want the resin to set properly and everything like that, but you really just want it to be an accurate dice and not not messed up. Oh, oh with the tea as well. Green and purple are colours that I can't pull off. See, I'm the opposite in that I, I think I really struggle with any colours that are like reds, things like that, because I've got like more reddish skin. So as soon as I put like red in my hair, I, I think that I look very, very red. I'm like, oh, so red. I just found out that you had the second most message in my channel despite having me muted 99% of the time. Oh, I wish I were doing a craft or art right now. They have homework there. New. Oh, days of course work and homework. I oh oh for a time. Yeah, days of course. Oh, red too. I'm a blue, grey, khaki, orange kind of person. See, I I really like the color red. I've been trying to wear more red, but not on my face, on my hair because. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a red faced I'm a red faced lady. <laughs> so with red hair I'm like a bit mm. When I'm there, I'm there. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Right there? You, are you okay there? You going Do I need a pin? Alright, alright. This one has a nice little gap in it, which means that if the fabric doesn't want to go through for any reason, force it. <laughs> With pins! There we go. Another one. I mean, I don't like doing it, but... No, I'd rather just want to go through on its own, but I will force it if it... If it refuses, it's getting forced through. Nice. And get that first bit done and then we'll just push the rest of the tape through. Yeah. With a curve. A curve, but that's okay. I mean, I'll straighten all of this out in a minute when I start pinning the bits on, but oh that please. I'm gonna fix that now because <laughs> hell no, only flat. Thank you. Oh dear. Ah. You offered yourself a nice cup of tea. My robot vacuum gets delivered today. <gasps> what do I name and how big of the googly eyes do you get? Oh, I gotta say as big as you can find. You can get really big googly eyes. Are actually thinking about it, like. Uh, you, you get offered really big googly eyes online. Ooh. I thought of something the other day which I wanted googly eyes for, but I can't remember the life of me what it was. What was I thinking to get googly eyes for? Oh, I've forgotten now. Damn it! I was I was thinking I wanted big googly eyes for something, but I can't remember what it was. It wasn't it was not a Hoover, that's for sure. It was something else. Cannot for the life of me remember what it was. Oh, 
Yeah, I thought that at first. There was something appealing about tiny eyes too. My sewing machine needs googly eyes. See, I don't think I would want my sewing machine to have googly eyes because my sewing machine kind of vibrates, uh, like pretty like it's like pretty intensely when I'm sewing. Which means if I had googly eyes, then it'd be like grrr as I'm sewing, and I think that might be just a little bit distracting. I don't know if that's a very good idea. I'm already distracted enough while I'm sewing. I don't know if I need extra distractions, like two eyes just vibrating as I'm sewing. It might be a bit intense. Uh... Uh, I saw a chick that put huge googly eyes on her bobs. <gasps> Bobbly eyes. Oh my god. Creative. So creative. That's the, that's the whole like, excuse me, my eyes are down here sort of thing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and I love it though. There we go. Yeah, they'd Google. They would Google hard if they were my sewing machine. They'd be like, whoa! The most intensest Google. The... Oh dear, it is not. Come on. No one foldies, please. Stay, stay together. I've got this one as well, which for some reason I just haven't unpinned. What am I doing? Like pasties? Ah! Might be a bit unsure of that one. I don't know about that. That seems a bit unsafe. I want to put googly eyes on a bobble head. Oh. That'd be quite a good one, I guess, because the thing is, it's not like you'd be using it to sew. But you could bobble it pretty well, I, I suppose. So that'd be work pretty well. But yeah, anything I guess you're using for like an activity where you need to concentrate. It might, it might become a little distracting. Bobblehead on a sewing machine, no! God oh, damn it. Back to sewing machine. I used to use big googly eyes on small paintings for kids. Aww. Oh dear, that reminds me, there was a trend some women had to have a bob on Christmas and put reindeer on it. I've seen like pictures of that. And it does make me laugh, but also, oh, no, but I, oh, it, it does, it did make me giggle a bit. Oh. So all animals had huge eyes. Oh, see, Catherine, that's kind of adorable. Kind of adorable. Again? Is there something stuck in this? <coughs> I'm wondering if there's maybe something stuck in this, because this is the second one in a row which has not gone through smoothly. I, I can't imagine that I've put any- maybe there's some thread actually. Sometimes thread gets stuck in things like this and that, that might have caught it. Ah oh dear. Right. It's weird to me though, there's supposed to be a cute Christmas thing at family events. I think... I kind of just explain it as like, you know what? Christmas is different for every family. And if that's how you celebrate Christmas with your family... Oh, you have a blast. <laughs> I will do my Christmas with a turkey and presents under the tree. If you get your bob out and decorate it like a reindeer, how <laughs> you have a blast. <laughs> Although that being said, I say that, last year I did decorate my head like a Christmas tree. So maybe, <laughs> maybe it's not worlds apart. Because <laughs> we didn't have a Christmas tree because we unfortunately we didn't have space for a Christmas tree um, at our old flat. So, um, because we didn't have space for a Christmas tree, I, I dyed my hair green then, and I decorated my head like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so, you know what? It's a bit different, but it's also, you know what? You know what? It's not 
not not like a hundred miles apart. Oh dear, 43 times. Wait, 43 times? Not today. I feel like it's not been reset because we need a way of resetting the R deer counter because that's definitely not today. I even said that it that many times in two hours. <laughs> that would be a bit extreme. The internet makes people do weird stuff, fam. You're not wrong. You you're not wrong there. Uh Oh dear, minimal tree. Yeah. Uh oh the vast. Now is not the time. That's your head, not your bob. Bit of a difference. True. Also, I had a really good time. I put tinsel and I had like, you know the beard baubles? Like the baubles that people get to put in their beard? I got those and I put it in my hair. And oh, good time. And I had like a little star on my head. And I was like, yeah. I'm a tree. <laughs> Perfect. I seem to be the only one still counting there. This is kind of what I was hoping for. I was hoping that eventually people wouldn't care anymore if I, I say it and then guess. They'd get bored of counting and it'd be like, oh ho ho ho! Back to my old ways we go! Oh. She's a tree. Oh no! I mean, for Christmas I was a tree. Oh, I don't think it was on Christmas Day though. I think I did it on like Christmas Eve Eve, because I think I worked Christmas Eve. Uh, oh, did I work Christmas Eve? No, I think so. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I, I didn't do it on the days that I worked. Uh. I'm all about body painting body art, don't get me wrong, it's just not something I'd see like it was a fun time for a family event. I don't know how to explain. I think it's like one of those things where it's like if you don't it, I imagine it's within a family maybe it's normal but like not. I don't know. If you I I to me it's a bit odd, but maybe to other family it's fine. But I could wouldn't if if someone in my family rocked up to my Christmas do like that, I'd be like, that's a bit much. Would you mind maybe not doing that? Because it's not a normal in my family. <laughs> but um if I guess if it's a normal in your family, then fair enough. Christmas is very different for different households though. And again, because some people don't even celebrate it, so it's like very different. Very different day. Oh uh, It's also whether or not they yeah, have like children in the house, I guess. I mean, I spend a lot of Christmas this year cooking. Most of my Christmas was spent cooking. Uh, and then, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I kind of enjoyed that. I like cooking. <laughs> I had a good time. Quite warm, but it was a good time. And the meal was good, so. And I had lots of snacks. Cooking, eating, snacks. And yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Kind of mostly what I want from Christmas, so actually. Oh, and I did, I did like obviously call my family and stuff like that. But cooking, eating snacks. Not really a big television on Christmas Day kind of person though. Um, I know a lot of people watch television on Christmas Day. Not really a big television on Christmas Day kind of person myself. Then again, I'm not really a big television person throughout the entire year kind of person. So maybe that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> the more that I think about that, the more I'm like, maybe that makes a lot of sense. I just don't really watch television. Oh. <laughs> uh, F. Oh. Uh, yeah. think like what my perfect Christmas would be. I think maybe if I was a bit more organized having some of the stuff cooked ahead of time would probably be my perfect Christmas. <laughs> Hasn't been a good Christmas special since Emirate Otter's joke band Christmas anyway. I don't know what that is. Maybe I've never seen a good Christmas special. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, I like Mrs. Brown's boys. I don't know if that's something people watch in other countries, though. But I like Mrs. Brown's boys. Sometimes they have a Christmas special of that. And so I might watch that. I'm so confused about what you were doing. How does that work? Oh, what I am doing. So <laughs> that's fair. I'll show you the back of it in a second uh, because that's kind of where the magic happens. But what you do is you thread in a piece of fabric that is kind of cut to a width that works with the width of the head. So I'm using double the width of the head. The head is 12 millimeters. I've done 24 millimeters, 25 millimeters. I rounded up a little. But um, I cut the fabric to that width. You thread it in and it folds it to for you. And it kind of does like a book fold. I'll show you that in a second. And what that means is you get a really nice piece on the front, which I can then sew to make pinstripes with in this particular case, for the pants or the trousers. And, but it's basically, it's called bias tape or bias binding. And that's what that little piece of metal is called. It's a bias binding maker. And you can buy bias tape or bias binding in shops. It's normally about a pound a meter, or you can buy the little bias tape maker and, you know, spend that one time and make it over and over again. It's a lot cheaper in the long run. And I'll just show you the back of it on the face cam because I think that was easier. So the back of it kind of looks like this, where it's folded it over for you. So kind of like, sorry, this is not very easy to show you, but it's folded it over in two pieces. And, sorry, try and get this done there. So it's like that and it's folded it over and then I've ironed it flat. So that's now really, really nice on this side. And then the back is like that. So that when I stitch it onto the fabric, I keep it nice side up and nasty side there, down. <laughs> yeah. And it just means with this, this is something that you can physically purchase in stores where it's been ironed and cut for you. But, <laughs> If I was to buy this, like this piece even, this would be like a pound. And this would be one, two, three, four, five, six pound. And buying this in the store, this was... It's 80p. So if that makes sense, from the amount of fabric that I've cut it from, 80p this has cost me but if i was to buy it in the shops six pound so like if it makes sense like it's a lot cheaper for me to make this myself with this piece of metal <laughs> that i bought <laughs> ages ago than it is for me to buy it in the stores pre-ironed i just iron it myself and by using a bias binding maker it saves me a whole lot of time and i can use any cotton i want it doesn't have to be plain cotton because they tend to only sell it in stores super plain no no interesting patterns whereas this has like a pattern on it like that i don't know if it's focused but it's got a pattern on it oh dear miss brown's voice yeah miss brown's voice hilarious i like miss brown's voice um if the jim henson thing it's pretty it's the greatest christmas best ever. i'm pretty sure it's on youtube oh okay so i can look it up later kind of thing nice uh I so need this. I always make my own the hard way by folding one side at a time and ironing it. Oh, crapping. Even thinking of that. Oh, yeah. And like, if you know what size you want already, you could just buy the one. <laughs> you could just buy the one. I do kind of recommend getting a metal one just because uh, the plastic ones from what I've heard can have some issues with having it like mild melting and then you don't, it doesn't work as well. But getting a metal one is like, it will last you forever, especially if you know you're going to use it a lot. Wowza. Sounds like you need to make an Etsy so I can sell it. I mean, if I was interested in making money off it, like, yeah, absolutely. Especially with fabrics like leathers, things like that, or pleathers. Because pleather um, binding sells for a lot of money on, on Etsy. Um, you could look that up yourself if you're interested, but pleather binding sells for a lot. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I'd feel like in my good mind selling it for a lot of money because um, it, 
it, it's a quite a, a sad, I would have to sit here and just always make binding, I think, if I wanted to do it. Like, yes, I could make money off it by doing this, but that I, I would have to just sit here and make binding. <laughs> and I, I don't think I really want to do that. Makes sense if you have the time to make it yourself, exactly. And I, I have plenty of time to make it myself. And it doesn't sound like a lot of money to save, but in the long run, when making a big cosplay like this, which does cost hundreds of quid, saving 10 or 20 quid here or there, like, on binding, it, it like, adds up. It adds up so quickly. Um, I just eBay searched to set of five of those tape tools for, like, $14. Make sure that they haven't got plastic in them. But yes, if you can get them like that, great. That, that, oh, I mean, if you want to get the plastic ones, oh, fair enough. I just tend to be a little hesitant. It is just from other people's reviews that I've heard of the plastic bits getting a little bit iffy with the iron after a while, um, where they can melt after time or like slowly change after a time, and then you don't get quite the same results. But that is, again, I can't say for sure because I've not used them. I've only ever used the metal ones. Oh dear, oh my god, there are Emma outtakes on YouTube! Muppet outtakes are the best! Dark does high! Oh, Mr. Bard looks intense! It is layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers! <laughs> but yeah, I hope you're having a good day! They are metal and plastic by the looks of it. I think I know the ones you're talking about. They come in different colours uh, for the different sizes. Um, again, I, I'm not going to say they're bad because I've never used them. Uh, but yeah, they might they might be absolutely fine. They, they might be absolutely fine. The only reason I got the metal ones were by a recommendation that if I'm going to be using it a lot, which bear in mind I've probably made well over a hundred meters of bias tape at this point, that I don't have to worry about any complications with the iron. That was the only reason. And yeah, but again, you might have no issues and. If that's the case, and you can get them much cheaper like that, and you can get loads of shapes, it might be much better. It might be much better. Uh, coloured ones, yeah. I, I know the ones you're talking about then. We love layers! Yes! I, I love layered cosplays. I'm a big fan. I mean, what I really love is going to a Comic-Con and fully overheating, but it's just really, really fun. I just... Something about getting up in the morning of a con and just layering up for a comic-con like putting on each layer really helps me get into the feeling of the character Komishika, hi making your own not only saves money but it's more com customizable and you can always perfectly match your binding if you're using it as binding yes which is exactly why i love it so much um because there are times as well where it's like yeah matching it for the binding but if you're not using it as binding and you're making shapes and then you also want strips they will always match perfectly and i love that so much Oh yeah, I'm just saying that buying them pre-made is a good thing if you're doing it this sporadically or you're trying to save time because of other responsibilities, but the time you love doing this, it looks like a great thing. Oh, for sure. Don't get me wrong. If you're not someone that uses bias binding that regularly, maybe this isn't worth your time uh, because, of course, you have to then go home and actually physically make the bias binding. Yeah, no, Dialog does bring up a, like, a good point where it's like, um, if... If you're not someone who makes bias binding or like who uses bias binding a whole lot, um, or you know has the time to do this, we're fair enough. But uh, if you're someone who does a lot of sewing and you're happy to fit this into your schedule, it will save you some money. <laughs> oh dear, what's the most layered cosplay possible? <sighs> I'll continue searching forever. More layers. Add more layers. Uh, I just think there's something really fun about, yeah, like and on a day of a Comic Con, getting up and then putting on all of those layers, it really helps me feel like I'm getting into character. No, Wing definitely brings up a good point there, to be fair. Like, it's, it's definitely not for everyone. It's just if you're someone, like, for instance, if, like, if you pop in, I, again, I work in retail and a lot of what I do is, um, People do pop in every now and again and ask questions about this sort of thing. If you're popping in and you're like, oh, I need this for like this one project, it's probably not for you. But if you're like, I make bunting for a living and you use bias, <laughs> well, would you maybe consider this might be a cheaper option for you in the long run? Like that, that, you know, that sort of thing.
Oh dear. Maybe a Skeksy from the Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, Skeksis. They did have a lot of layers actually thinking about it. It would be not only a lot of layers, or it'd be a lot of prosthetics. But oh, that'd be that'd be layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Actually, that's a really good one as well because at one point I think they delayer a Skeksy, so it's like you see that too. That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Legit, I'm not in costume properly if I'm not dying a little from the heat. Yeah, yeah. Even on the ones where I'm like. I think I'll be pretty good in this cosplay. Like, we don't think it's gonna be that hot. Still boiling. <laughs> Every single time. Oh, that was an abstract submission. Prepare review paper and make us a crafting. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought that was a cake. <laughs> oh. Layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. Oh. Ogre, Ogre does have layers. Ogre does have layers. Oh, that was good. Uh, Ogres do have layers. That's true. So I'm not sure if I would necessarily have to put on layers and layers and layers to become an ogre. That's the only thing. Oh yeah, we've got to do a shout out for, for Winged. Oh, we've, got, we've got an up and coming musician here in the chat with us. <laughs> Gotta do the shout outs. Oh dear. Ooh, wait. And Sparkdos! Ooh! Wait, I'm gonna have to check out Sparkdos then. Okay. Pop that in a tab for later. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Sorry. I have to copy it and paste it into my, my Google tab. Because you know who opens everything in, in Internet Explorer otherwise? This guy! <laughs> oh dear! Oh. Nope, that didn't work. God damn it! Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Ah. The scrolling of the messages. The scrolling of the messages. What kind of things do you normally make, Spark? 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 Dos. Excuse me. Control C, please. Please do the controlling of the C. Hm. Why does it? Some reason I can't seem to do it, so I'll just have to do it like this. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it'd be like this. Oh. Yee. I'm very slow with this thing. There we go. We got there. We got there. It just takes me about ten years. Oh. Alas, like, what are you playing? Flight Simulator. Ooh! I feel like I've seen, not for a while. <laughs> but like, in the past, Flight Simulation games. Oh! Oh! Interesting. How easy is Flight Simulator? Oh dear, I don't stream very often, but thank you. Ah, oh, Amelia meant to remind you that you still have a saved prior request in McDoodle stream. Make sure to redeem it next time you're around. Oh no! <laughs> I will do my best. I'm very bad at this sort of thing. Hush it! Oh, thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. I shall do my best. I just like coming in and listening to anything she's playing. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh yeah, I like this one. Oh yeah, I like this one too. Oh, and Spark does as well. Thank you for the follow. It's very kind of you. So if ever I have a request, I'm just like, eh! I like everything. Everything's good. And then the list as well. I like everything. <laughs> oh dear. Costumes! Yes! More costumes! I'm a big fan of costumes. If you couldn't tell, I like costumes. <laughs> it doesn't look like you've dreamed for a while, but your work looks awesome. Get a shout out too! You get a shout out. You get a shout out. Uh. Oh, we love some art. Hasha, you're welcome. Ah, oh, thank you, Hasha. Have a good day. Ah, oh. you know, it was trying to figure it out. It was terrible. Didn't have the flight stick yet. 
Super hard with a keyboard. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've seen flight simulators in the past. Don't remember this one in particular. But that makes sense if it's just come out. <laughs> and I'm never very good at that sort of games. I'm like, I just wanna go up in the air and just goof around basically. Like, I wanna find my house if I can, that sort of thing. Oh dear. Now Dev knows, so it's on them now. Ah! Good, good stuff. Good stuff, Winged. You've, you've done the good. Uh, always costumes, always costumes. Occasionally bean bags and other small things, but mainly costumes. Uh, you can always just request a streamer's choice in a certain category. Just ask something video game or something jazzy. Ooh, that might almost be like the best thing to do then. I like all of them. Jelly, look at the panda mask helmet they made. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> that? I've been into flight sims lately because I've been looking Star Wars in coming out in October. Wait, no, I know that because I know Cat Cadia. No, of course I know this. Honestly. Honestly. Acting. I know this. It does look phenomenal though. Absolutely phenomenal. Ah. Uh, Done in. Oh, I've been looking for flight simulators because I've been looking forward to Star Wars game continuing in October. I'm upgrading my VR headset for it and I got some flights fixed now so I can get super into it when it comes out. Now I set up for Elite Dangerous and it's pretty cool. Nice. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And dudes, my dudes, another very talented. Mu musician oh dear lack of conventions has been a really feel down on my motivation though yeah I feel that I, I yeah there have definitely been times where it's like don't get me wrong like it's not the only reason that I make costumes by any means and I don't tend to make costumes specifically for conventions um, I, I'm not a big fan of deadlines <laughs> I don't work well with deadlines. Deadlines of me have never really got along, so I don't really make costumes specifically for deadlines anymore. I just sort of make costumes and then when it comes to a, a convention, I'm like, this one and this one I think will do. But, um, <laughs> I, yeah, it, I like making competition ones and they tend to be for conventions and having competitions put off and stuff like that. It's very much like, uh, but I want to be judged. <laughs> but I want to be judged so much. <laughs> oh dear, the new flight sim looks amazing. I played Flight Sim 98 as a child. Saw the trailer for the new one and my jaw dropped. I'm gonna have to look into this. <laughs> oh dear. Hug. Ah, oh, thank you for the hug. Ah, oh, it's really cool. All the little subtle stuff is even better. It uses Bing maps. Still in the ground, so it's pretty detailed and it pulls the actual live weather. Oh no. It's free if you have game pass. Okay. So I could find my house. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. If it's pulling in the weather though, it's just gonna be raining 24-7 because yo, whales. Uh <laughs> except for when it's in a heat wave. It'll either be heat wave or it's gonna be raining. One or the other. <laughs> no in between. <laughs> Deadlines are the only thing I got to get them done for me, lol. Yeah, this is the thing. When I talk to other cosplayers, it's one or the other. Like, do you get by by deadlines or do deadlines destroy you? One or the other. I, I, yeah, I don't like deadlines. For me, it, it's not a good. So I, I just make costumes and then when a deadline comes around, or not a deadline, when a, when a con comes around, I'm like, okay. But I know a lot of people, like, they craft to the deadline. And I, 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 oh, oh, oh. Not, not for me. It makes me not very well. <laughs> so I can't do it. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, although Wing tends to do both of those jobs, haven't graduated from his old university yet. Aww. Uh -huh. Yep, I had to throw deadlines out the window years ago, make stuff when I feel like it, and when it's done, it's done, and I debut at the next convention I go to. That's fair, that's that's me. <laughs> Sparked, right, head off, see ya. Goodbye, Sparked. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for popping by. Oh. Yeah. Come Shika, that's me too. I I can't I can't can't be doing it. It it stressed me out too much. 
<laughs> I'm easily stressed by that sort of thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, people that can do it, impressive. Me? No. <laughs> too much. Too much. Oh dear. Being judged in comps hurts my feelings too much. I just, lol, I just want nice photos. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I really struggle with photos, so I'm like the opposite. <laughs> I like, don't get me wrong, it's like very kind of people when they ask for photos. Like if anyone comes up to me and it's like, can I have a photo? Very, very kind of them. Internal me is like, ah! <laughs> like, what do I do with my face? Am I smiling? Do I look okay? Like, what is face doing? And then I see the pictures and I'm like, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> oh dear. Wait, what did I miss? I don't know. I don't know who, or you know, I'm not your mod. I'm, I'm your mod, not your social organizer. You've obtained your bachelor's degree. Whoa! Friday 30, here we come. Just put some work into the, your master thesis, you slack it instead of going to all your frat parties. Wow. It's always the internal. Ah! Oh my. Yeah. It's like, again, it's very, very sweet. I'm not trying to say, like, don't ask me for photos. Like, not like that. But, like, it's very, very sweet and it's very kind, and I'm always incredibly flattered. If anyone asks me for photos, very, very sweet, very kind, very flattered. But internally, I am screaming. <laughs> oh, it's just how I live my life. Just guessing on if my expression is appropriate. Yeah, this is true also. Like at work, like every now and again, I catch a glimpse of myself in one of the mirrors and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> like this, I'll just be there like, <laughs> or like, like this is not work ex a work appropriate expression. I think I'm smiling, but I am either incredibly confused looking or manic. <laughs> Neither of which is intentional. <laughs> this is not a smile. This is terrifying. Oh god. It's not how you retail. This is how you uh, terrify away any customers that might be looking to shop. Or maybe it's how you effectively keep a two meter distance from everyone. I don't know. I have been effectively keeping a two meter distance from everyone. Maybe it's my face. Who knows? <laughs> but... <laughs> God, it... <laughs> it, be, it do be like that sometimes, but it do. <sighs> oh. It's difficult when you just don't know what your face is doing at any time. And I, what I don't want to do... <laughs> All I don't want to do is just sit in front of a mirror all the time and be like, Hi, right, we smile, we just... Hi, how are you doing today? It's not good, it's not good. I don't... I mean, I said it before, one of my favourite things are like the YouTube tutorials on like how to smile for camera. It's my favourite, or how to do... It's only semi-creepy lol, yeah. <laughs> Can you quote that, Dem? Uh... We d I don't think we have the quote on this channel, and I'm pretty sure I kept it off for a reason, because... Oh, oh. God, some of the stuff that comes out of my mouth. Oh. What was the quote? Oh no, oh no! I mean, I don't remember, it's already been two seconds. <laughs> That's about as long as the memory lasts, I'm afraid. Um... Pause to check, thank you! <laughs> Appreciate it, Kit Kat. Oh, dear. George, hi. How are you doing today? I am doing well, thank you. How are you doing today, George? I'll add the quote command when she's asleep. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember what the quote command does, except I think it means you can go exclam- Oh, no, it doesn't mean exclamation mark quote and then a random quote from me appears? That's dangerous. <laughs> I say a lot of trash. I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh dear. Does permit work here? Or should I DM you the clip? Oh, you clipped it. Oh. I don't think permit works here, but we can try it. <laughs> Will, I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, positive check. Oops, I don't think so. Yeah, we tried it before. Um, and I don't want to get yeeted. You won't get yeeted for it. You'll just, you'll just get a. Sorry. 
it. Oh no. I can't even remember what I said. God damn it. You know what you know what quoting is gonna be? It's gonna be like a whole load of people doing quote and I'm gonna be like, did I say that? Did I say that? Is that me? Are we sure this was me? To like every single quote. And it's, I, I'm not gonna remember it. Uh. Oh dear. Since I joined late, what are we making? So we're making the trousers right now. Uh, I need to make some pinstripes and I'm gonna make making them using bias, bias tape. And we've got this bias binding maker and we basically cut these pieces to be double the length of the nozzle. Nozzle is 12 millimeters. The tape is cut to 24 millimeters or 25, I rounded up. <laughs> and I cut those strips, you thread it through the end and then when it comes out the other end, it folds over in like a book. So it's folded on either side, kind of like that. And you then iron it flat on the other side and it becomes bias tape. And then I can use those, sew them on like pinstripes to the trouser legs that I've already made behind me. And then we got trouser legs. Uh, you realize that's how the quotes in most channels work, right? I, maybe. But <laughs> for, for it possibly. Oh, uh, David. How are you doing? Who is this one has happened to Amelia? It's still me. I just, I fancied doing some makeup this morning because I woke up and I was like, I want to be creative on my face. And here we are. <laughs> Being creative on the face. I drew some musical notes because this is a bard costume. Ah. Oh. I just watched the clip. Oh no. <laughs> Yay, trouser leg. Yeah. So I've got two legs behind me and then we just add the pins on it's pins pinstripes onto it. And of course I will need the like the, the brown bits, but I think it should be okay. Samantha, hi, how you doing? Welcome, I hope you're having a good day. We can make it so any vodka quotes so it isn't a bunch of random stuff with issues with how should we say juvenile behaviour with spamming in chat because it seemed hilarious to them. That might that might be maybe a, a good call. Face creativity looks good too, thank you. The musical notes are really hidden by the microphone, but they are there. Bomb. Fear not, Chi Chi has returned. Chi Chi, how went the war hunt? I hope you managed to find some. We have nearly made the first batch of pinstripes and a bias tape. Eee. <laughs> I feel like all of the quotes that come up as ah oh dear. Just every single quote, it's just ah oh dear. Ah oh dear. Ah oh dear. Ah oh dear. Every single time. Uh yes. But way more than intended, but is anyone really surprised? I mean that sounds like a good craft trip in my eyes. To be fair, I may have contributed to spammer chat when I was trying to learn other languages with tra translator. Maybe <laughs> it's okay. Oh, uh, I need to drink some more of my tea, actually. <gasps> oh, oh, god damn it, man! <gasps> oh no! Just five more times in one sentence. I was, I was thinking. <laughs> oh dear! Chat translator. Yeah, we had that in chat. <laughs> it just. Oh, bad times. I mean, I spammed once or twice with overly excited. But yeah, but like, it's not to the extent where like, so I have, you know, when you have the chat box in uh, in your your OBS or your Streamlabs OBS, if one person is like the entirety of it in the entire, like, and it takes like, what, 10 seconds for them to fill it, I think that's spam. I, th I think that's spam. Uh... Uh. It takes like, oh, uh, it's taken like one person two seconds to fill the box. It's like, oh, that was quick. Uh. 
of it again. I ruined it. It's it's fine. It's fine. I think it was maybe it was a good idea, but maybe not the best for this channel. Oh uh, dear. It was very intense. I couldn't read chat was the issue when we had that bot, unfortunately. Oh no, there we go again. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, this is the last one though. Okay. So satisfying. It does look like a little snake. Little snake. Positive. I want to make sure I don't go too fast because I do want to make sure it is all very much ironed down. But like, so cute. It's so cute. Oh. Uh. Remember those huge links to Pokemon Wikipedia pages? Vaguely. <laughs> Vaguely. It took one person 20 seconds to fill the box. Loot! No! No! <laughs> it could be perceived as loot, I suppose. Make his friend. You danger noodle. He's in fact a friendly snake. For sure. For sure. I do love Danger Noodle. Danger Noodle is one of my favourite descriptors of a snake. <laughs> Such a cute bird. Little Danger Noodle. Oh. Did you get here, Danger Noodle? Go. Make sure that stays centred. Go off to one side. And just ironing it. Down all the way to the and then we'll just iron it back and do it again. There we go. The danger noodles so effing cute. Yeah. Call them nope noodles. Nope noodles. Oh no. Right, iron off. Next give good hugs. You're very tight hugs. <laughs> I do like snakes though. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I mean, again, another animal that generally I respect from a distance. I mean, I do have friends that own snakes. But generally I respect snakes from distance. Also see them in the wild and it's like, you're cool. You stay there, I stay here, we're good. Goodbye, Snick. <laughs> but to be fair, Samantha, I have known one person in my entire life that called it a box to death. It's more common in other places. No, I, I know, I, yeah, I, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> nope, rope. <laughs> nope, rope. I got us a nope, rope. <laughs> oh, that is good. Oh, uh, common slang in some places. <laughs> <laughs> also, what are we making? The little metal thing seems like a handy tool, even though I'm not sure of its purpose. So we're making the pinstripes to go on the pants or the trousers right now, depending on what you like to call them. Uh, we're making the, the pinstripes. So I've already made the, the trouser legs, we just need the pinstripes. <laughs> um, so I've made 10 pinstripes, and I'm just letting the iron cool down just a little bit before I move it off of the ironing. Uh, board and then I'll start doing that but yeah by making them bias tape it just makes it much easier for me to pin them on and keep them like really nice and even hmm. but yeah we've already got like legs uh, where is it there it is this is a leg look at that leg uh, so this is the crotch on the like the front or the back, like either side. Doesn't really matter. Symmetrical both ways. <laughs> the 
because it's like so baggy it doesn't really matter too much I'm hoping it might be a slight oversight on my part but we'll see um I can always take it in slightly on one side should I need to and we'll be looking at adding these as the pinstripes like the stripes but then I think what I probably will end up doing is doing some painting around the pinstripes once they're on there. So attaching the pinstripes and then I might do some shading around them. So I don't really want them to just go on there and have no shading. So I'm probably going to get some brown or something like that on paint and start to paint around them. Yeah. I like puffy pants. I also like puffy pants. These are basically patterned. I, I just got a pair of joggers and made a pattern based on them. But, um, I mean, it should be. I haven't really done this, but maybe I should. While we're waiting for the iron to cool down, we have very precious little else to do, to be quite honest. But this should be from about there to there. Can't hold it at the back very easily, unfortunately. You can kind of see, like, we got quite a bit of fabric here, and with it meeting under there, there's quite a, quite a bit of quite a bit of fabric here. It's gonna be puffy, <laughs> but that's kind of the idea. The idea is that they are puffy leg, and then yeah, give me some hips, maybe I don't know. <laughs> oh dear, ever seen a? Newly hatched hognose danger noodle. Oh jeez, mini cobras. Can they be so dangerous? Puffy is good. Yeah. I mean, I think I might have a little extra come around the waist, but probably not too much. But that's okay, because if it's a little extra, it'll just puff a bit more. That's not, that's not so bad. And then they hit just a little bit too low at the moment, so I'll probably cut them a little bit there. I should maybe flip to the main camera so you can actually see it. Sorry. That was a bit silly of me, but like, it's gonna probably be like a little bit of crimp crimping? I don't know what you call it, but like, yeah, like that, because it's a little bit like that, but <laughs> with all of the excess fabric. Kinda like that. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. <laughs> Not too much going on there. It's, it's a really simple trouser. I don't want to go too complicated, because so much of it's gonna be covered. Yeah. That's what we do. Better for it to be more roomy than not. Yeah, I, also because his trousers, they go in so much underneath the calf. I really wanted that dramatic like, jump around my calves. So I figured having extra fabric would be the best way to do that. To have that really dramatic like, jump around the calves. So I don't know, I, I thought that'd be the best way to do it. <laughs> just, just dramatic zoom. Oh dear. It was the only way I could think to do it anyway. It was just go, go really, really heavy with the extra fabric. Um, right. I think you're probably okay for me to just put in the corner now at the very least. So I shall do that. And let's put you this way. Let's have a look. We know there's going to be a leather one down the middle, so I can kind of hold off on doing that one. So this this line here, that's where that leather one's going to be going, which is why I didn't mind doing it in two parts, because, you know, gives me a good marker of where that one can go. I reckon a bit, because what are we working close to where I'm actually going to be working? <laughs> and then I need to make sure that I'm keeping it pretty a pretty solidly straight line down here and down the opposite part. So, mm, just looking over at the pitch, being like, what am I gonna do? Uh, not sure. Because for me, it would have been better, I feel like if I went from this side up to there but then it might end up being like a V at the crotch <laughs> which isn't exactly what I'm going for <laughs> so 
funnily enough. Um, I... No, okay, I'm gonna have to start the crotch. I, I, ju I just don't think I can get around doing that. Um, it's okay, that's okay. And I'm gonna go in a bit because there is gonna be a bit of seam allowance there. And let's go in about this much. I think a good amount to start with. And then we need to start deciding how, f actually we probably should start deciding how far um, on them now. Because there's gonna be a distance apart here too. Actually no, because I can do that when I'm working through the seam there. The seam's probably gonna be about there. Where's my, there it is. How far apart is it going to be from the next one? <laughs> this is a weird. Um. Hmm. Let me see. I think. Maybe an inch and a half. Or does that look too big? I don't know if- I think an inch and a half looks pretty good. Like a reasonable amount of distance. Hmm. Punisher, hi! You'll be lurking? That's fair enough. Enjoy your lurk. A lovely lurk. Well, I just... Under... Maybe an inch and a quarter? Yeah, I think an inch and a quarter is maybe a bit... A bit better? Okay, so if we're doing an inch and a quarter... Um... Hmm, that's a bit difficult. <laughs> um, that means that I technically... A ridiculously small amount. Oh, David, a horn! We can do a horn! Everyone prepare for horn. Hmm, it'd almost be easier if it was just an inch. <laughs> it'd be easier if it was just an inch. Um... I think an inch, an inch is too small. Hmm. To wake up some of the lurkers. Oh, that is fair. Then is that too big? God, I don't know. <laughs> This probably seems like a really stupid decision and like I'm taking a really long time over this but it's gonna be such a... Hmm... I think an inch and a quarter is probably what I want which means that I should probably only do this about half of an inch and a quarter from seam allowance which is like here allowance I don't think that's there for this. I think it's there from the seam allowance to out here. So I need to move this along just a little bit. To about there. Okay. Right, that's what I need to work out. Oh. Uh, the frazzled window, I'm sorry. Right, that's I think where I need to go from. And I will do that the whole way down this one and then start building the others up and they will be an inch and a quarter from each other. Oh, that's a bit a bit of an awkward one, but I think that that's what's going to look best. Unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes it'd be like that. An inch and a half was too much and an inch was just a little bit not enough, but I can work with that. I like Pokemon High! <laughs> not trying to be rude, but the lipstick does not look the best on you, but hi, that's fair. Not everyone is going to like it. Personally, I like it. I had fun doing it. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, though. Right, oh, do I go in or not? No, let's try and keep that really straight because otherwise I think that's going to look like a little bit odd and also it's probably to match at the back. I like it. <laughs> Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. 
Some people are not gonna like that I've popped on lipstick today. That's okay. <laughs> like, I totally get it. It's in the same way that when I do slightly more, uh, like, what do you call it? Less cute cosplays. Some people don't like that. I understand. Oh dear. It's, it's, it's the same deal, but it's like, I, I get it. Some people aren't gonna like it, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't affect the fact that I still like the costume or like, I still like the lipstick, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> you, nobody needs to fight anyone. I think it's all right. It's absolutely fine for some people to like it and some people not. I've put my pen down somewhere and I've straight up lost it. Uh, <laughs> what do I... How do I do this? Um, how, how have I done this? <laughs> I, I assume that I put it somewhere safe while I was... Um, sorry, I'm just like... <laughs> Where have I put it? I, I assume I put it somewhere safe while I was ironing, but I, um, <laughs> did I put it on the ground? Putting it on the ground doesn't seem like the safest idea, but I do not appear to have put it on the ground. Oh dear. <laughs> Craft wagon will save me. <laughs> I appreciate it. I honestly, I feel like it's a really good idea. I would love a craft wagon. I think I probably would need a slightly smaller one because I don't know how well it will fit in this room. But a smaller craft wagon? Heck yeah. Oh heck yeah. I just need like a like a one that I can just like wheel around my house. <laughs> oh dear, what have I lost? I've lost my um what do you call it? My white pen that I was using to do all of the like the markings on these. That's what I've lost. My white pen. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I don't know where I've put it. I, I can see the pen top, but I can't see the pen itself. Now, the logic in me would have thought, well, I would have put the top back on the pen when I finished with it. But clearly that's not what I've done. So I'm a bit like, it's okay to not like something. It's not the nicest to come in the chat with that being your first message or greeting. It is not the nicest to come straight into it as that being your your first message or greeting. Yeah, it, that's not the nicest. But also, yeah. Oh dear. Good damn here. It's okay to not like something. Maybe consider if you need to make your opinion heard. <laughs> Oh dear, I say if you don't like something or something, keep it to yourself. Ah, oh, tend to be really absolutely right. <laughs> Great, that's fair. Uh, did anyone see where I put my pen? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I realise they seem very distracted. It's very kind of everyone to, to, to defend me here. Um, but I'm absolutely fine, except for I don't suppose if anyone's seen where I put my pen. <laughs> I, don't, I, I really need it to draw where I need to put the next line of pinstripe. Um, and I honestly, um, oh, I've seen it. I put it with the ruler, where the ruler draw. That would make sense. I probably, when I got the ruler, put down the pen. Sorry. No spoilers, please. What would I be spoiling? Would I spoil, what would I spoil? Would I spoil a, uh, whatchamacallit? If I could find the pen? Oh wait, no spoilers to like, help me find the pen? Wow! Wow! I'm sorry. That's okay, it's okay, we got it. Last time Dida's lost her neck stuff, it was around her neck. So is it in your hands? No, oh my god, if it had been in my hands, I honestly wouldn't have been surprised. It's like when you lose your glasses on your face. So easily done. So easily done. You just think you can see better than you actually can. <laughs> like oh no I guess, I guess this is how it is <laughs> but yeah I'm just making some marks now on the fabric to where I want this one to be I'm not gonna do this the whole way down like a line but I, I want to get like an idea the people in chat who saw where you put the pen <laughs> wait did people actually see where I put it 
can't help you, my attention span's about three seconds. Nah, it's all right. Me, me too. <laughs> me too, cat. <laughs> oh. Wait, is this a picture of where I put the? Do you have a gif of where I put the pen? If you can't, it's like nice. Don't say anything at all. Ah, oh, okay. I thought you had a gif of where I put the pen. <laughs> I was like, how? How do you already have a gif of where I put the pen? It would have been very, very impressive. Making some tiny, tiny lines. The white. It does actually blend in really nice with the fabric as well. What even is three seconds? What even is three seconds? Ah, uh, I sometimes look, uh, talk on my phone and just need to look something up and then ask the person to hang on when I find my phone. Oh, clapping, that speaks to me. Speaks to me on so many levels. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, but clapping, that's. It, it's so. It's insanely relatable. I don't think I talk on the phone enough to, to have had that happen. But also, it's exactly the sort of thing that I could imagine happening to me. Oh. Right. Right, let's get that bit off and start going in from here and where I've just put those marks that's where I'm going to put the closest to this side of the fabric so closest here and then I'll do the same on the other side so this is going to be a bit of a process but I'm probably just going to pin all this at once and sew it all on at once as well uh, I don't know if it's necessary to do it like that but it's going to be the easiest Pin it all, sew it all at the same time. Yeah. Oh. That's better. They might not be all perfect because <laughs> I I'm not perfect at doing this, <laughs> but it's close. I'm I'm okay with it. And because I was able to cut that piece in half, hey, save some of that bias tape. <laughs> being being resourceful. I won't be able to do that with any of the next pieces, unfortunately. <laughs> but that's okay because I was able to do it with that piece. And those should be evenly now going the whole way down and looking really cool. And then I think what I'll go. I, I'm I'm pretty set on this now. I think is to go back. I'm just not really happy with how bold the colours are. It sounds silly because this is green on green and this is a bright green. But I think I want to go back and just paint a bit between the pin, pin stripes. I think. I think otherwise it's just going to be a bit... I don't know how to say it, but it's a bit much in my eyes. I need to mute it down a little bit. And going in with some brown on top of the green, I think is going to do that for me. And make me a lot happier with the colour. Yeah. We'll do that once all of them have sewn on. And it will also make it blend into the brown piece at the end a little bit better, I think, too. That, all that will look a lot better. And because I'm doing it in the white, you can also, to be fair, barely see the line where I've done it on. <laughs> I can see it being a bit much different. To... It's very watermelon right now. Yeah, when in, in the Discord, when that said, it looks like watermelon fabric, I was like... Oh. <laughs> it is very watermelon, isn't it? And then... You wait till I make it pinstriped as well. It's gonna be very watermelon. Oh, uh, yeah. It, ne it needs to be uh, toned down just a little bit. I think painting it will make it a little less cartoony, hopefully, and a little bit more dirty looking and a bit more like worn and you know. I, I probably will also lighten patches of it too to make it look like it's been sun bleached a bit. 
sometimes that could help. Not all of it, just uh, the bits that are further away from the pins, big pin I keep calling them pins, pinstripes, because they're further away, but also because the pinstripes themselves are 3D, I think that that would make more sense in some of the areas. Not all of the areas, but in some of the areas, I might do that. Wait, what's the distance between these? Water, what am I doing? Why have I gone from one of the... What am I doing? I've gone from one and a quarter. What have I measured here? I think I'm measuring one and a half suddenly. That's not good. We're not measuring one and a half, we're measuring one and a quarter. Oh dear, oh dear. That was a, oh, not good. I don't know why I did that. I straight up just measured the wrong measurement. What possessed me? No, one and a quarter only, please. Oh dear. I think sleepily, I think I'm done for today. Ah, am I gonna put pockets in the trousers? No, I'm not gonna put pockets in the trousers because they're gonna get covered by a good portion of the corset. It's a good question to be fair, uh, Winter, but um, I'm, because the corset comes down quite low, I think it would be a little difficult for me to utilize any pockets. <laughs> um, pockets will get covered by corset in this particular case um, because it's quite a low, it's not even a corset, it's like a belt, a belt but like a really, really thick belt. And so I've put some bone in it to make it stay out. So it's kind of like a belt that's bone like a corset is, is kind of the, so it's basically an underbus corset at this point. Yeah, if you are, if you are doing a sleep, have a good sleep. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, cause, cause of how low it's going, it's not, it's not, not gonna be a useful pocket unfortunately so I'm um, the pouch that's on one side I think it's on his left side actually I'm going to try and make that a proper usable bag I think I think can I hang in here instead of working today I don't, I don't know David I don't know if we might be too distracting <laughs> if if too many horns go off would it maybe not make it a bit difficult to do any work <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, nighty night, y'all. Sleep well, winter. Thank you so much for popping by. <laughs> I think that's the thing with this channel. If your background might not, it depends. We're pretty chill, but then also horns. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty chill, but then also Vengabus. We like to party. So you lady jobs. Damn. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'll get those three sewn on and then come back and do some others because I don't want to get pinned as I'm pinning. <laughs> I don't want to get pinned. That's no fun. Let's snip that as well because that's gonna get in the way. Uh, <laughs> gonna cut hugs, hugs. Great. I will need to change. Oh, I could change the color of my thread, or I could leave it as the light colored thread and do a bit of a risky. And purposefully sew them on with the lighter colour. And what that would mean is if I got any of the dirt paint on it, it would dye that lighter thread brown. Oh. Which I, you know, I would see as a good thing. But I don't know. I've been doing it over time for like a month and it's a rainy day and even if I have a week of vacation in a couple of weeks, I'd just love to do nothing today. Oh, David. 
That does sound like a bit of a ugh day. I mean, I wish you the very best with it, even though it sounds ugh. Oh dear. Fingers crossed it goes by fast for you at the very least. I think I might do a, a lighter thread with it, so. I could do it in the darker colour. I have a darker colour. No, no, I'm going to do it in the darker colour. Much as I like the idea of the contrasting thread, I think the fact that I'm already painting it is probably enough. Plus, if any brown gets on it, it should already show pretty well. Diamond. Go. Yeah, to be fair, and it's really miserable outside, especially if you're going to something like work. It can really make it so that you don't want to go do it. Even if you enjoy where you work, like I like where I work. But on a miserable day, it really doesn't make you want to go in. <laughs> And make sure that's all good. Yep. I'll keep the light one on the bottom for now though, I think. Oops. Eh. Right. Try and do really, really straight stitches. Oh. She's like. There we go. So I was just trying to pull my foot forward with my feet. Uh, weird sentence, but I was trying to pull my foot forward with my feet uh, the machine because it was really, really far back for some reason. That's not a comfortable position to be sewing in. <laughs> Alright, let's try and keep this really, really tight to the edge. Because otherwise they will stand off really weirdly and I don't want that. I don't want that weird kind of like stand off of the fabric kind of look. I want them to be smooth and subtle. So really carefully. I would show you in the other view but because I think my arm is going to be covering a lot of the camera I don't think I can show you it in the other view. I'm really sorry. I think it might just have to be top down view for this one. I think that's the only one I'm going to be able to show you it. Sorry. Um, and then last bit, hold in place, and there we go. It's one side, and then other side. Bend just really, really carefully, and really not like right on the edge, but like just a couple millimeters from the edge. Consistently. Oh, down. <laughs> oh, that's maybe a little fast. Okay. Sorry, it's like, it takes so much concentration, just like, ah! There we go. Okay. There we go. Whew. And then try and show you it. I don't know how easy you're going to be able to see the stitching on it, but it's face. Uh, it looks like that. Can you see the stitching on it? Uh. Yeah. So it's trying to get them pretty. Maybe I should show you on the back. Trying to keep them a pretty even distance apart the entire way down. Can you see that on the back? But like it's difficult with one needle. I could put a double needle in, but I don't think they'd reach the right distance apart, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just trying to keep that even distance apart the entire way down. Hopefully you could see to an extent. We need a first person view cam. It'd just be me like, ah, 
the entire way down. Oh, okay. And now to do that again. And then again and again and again. Yeah, I want it pretty close to the edge. Not super, super close to the edge. Just pretty close to the edge. I remember doing this with the Journey cosplay and just feeling like not super, super stressed because at this point in the Journey cosplay, I had done the majority of the costume, but just like mild stress because I didn't want the sides to be pulling up or anything like that. But I also tried to get all these lines pretty flat. It's, it's a lot of concentration. And it's a lot of just staring into the light bulb in your machine and I was like really not sure at what point I should stop doing this because I was like I don't want to give myself a migraine but also I really have to concentrate on this. It's not... Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> I mean like this much is fine. Uh, not, not to say like this is going to be a problem. Like this is not a problem. But like with the Journey cosplay it was like Hundreds of meters of the stuff. Well, I just remember sitting there for hours doing this. Okay. And little back stitch at the end. Nice. Okay, and the other side. I think once I've done this one leg, I might actually. Just go straight into having a look at painting it and seeing what I think. Because if I paint it and I really don't like it, I might... Well, of course, I'll have to remake the leg. And if that's the case, I, I don't maybe want to, have, you know, make that same mistake on both legs and then have to repaint or, like, remake both legs. So I might get the pins on here and then think about painting it. I don't know. We'll see how far I get today and how many hours it takes to get all of these on. I'm not sure. Because yeah, it'd be, bit, <laughs> it'd be a little bit of a pain to, to paint one and then really not like how it looks. Go. Staring at the light bulb, that can't be good. It's because there's a light right under here, like right in like, here. So <laughs> it ends up feeling like you're just staring at a light bulb the entire time with how much concentration and like just doing one line after one line after one line after one line. It's a lot, it's a lot of lines. It's a lot of, a lot of lines of, of this. And it's like pretty heavy concentration work compared to like a lot of the sewing that I do here. It's like pretty, like compared to ruffles, for instance. We've just made a lot of ruffles. Compared to that, this is really heavy concentration. Because I'm like really having to concentrate exactly where the stitch is and like within like a millimeter or two of where it needs to be constantly. Oh, oh. That being said, this music is helping. That's why it's nice to fall back on the Garbador cosplay though, because I can do this, which is, you know, maybe a little more on the stressful side, and then go back to do Garbador cosplay for a while and be like, heck yeah. Minimal stress, just a lot of wefts. We didn't go over the edge, so it's fine. Whew. Okay. Joanna, hi! How are you doing? Welcome! I hope you're having a good day. We've started sewing some pinstripes onto our trouser legs. We have made these pinstripes by making some bias binding with a bias binding maker. And these are some trousers that are just based loosely off of some sweatpants that I have around the house. But they are pretty loose, so I've got like a lot of extra fabric in them, which is nice. And they do be looking like watermelons. <laughs> but other than that, I kind of love them. I mean, even with that, I kind of love them. I mean, it's almost a shame to have to paint them to be more dull in colour. But like, you know what? It's fine. I can take a picture of them before I, I paint them to be more dull in colour so I can remember the watermelon. Just a little 
No. Right, there we are. That's everything through there. We can start the next view on. And the light bulb is off. That is Pinstripe Zone on three. <laughs> oh dear. Pinstripes and stripes are there and we leave the pins out. Yeah, no more pins on there. Chocolate coins, hi! How are you doing? And again, it's just show you on this one because it's a bit difficult to show you on the top camera. But it's about trying to keep the stitches to be like about an equal distance apart so that when sewing them on, they end up being, yeah, like equal distance apart stitches. A bit difficult to show you on the other side because it matches the fabric, but you can kind of see it on the back, which is good. And yeah. Oh, it's difficult. <laughs> That's why I'm like so concentrated. Oh dear. Who doesn't dream to have watermelon trousers? Who doesn't dream? Yeah. Watermelon trousers. I, I can't imagine who wouldn't want this. Uh, also, hi all. Hi. Uh, oh no, another one. Another one. Minimal. You're still, you're still there. Getting those, getting those deers. Hmm. Right. Let's get the next pinstripes in there. And we're going to be taking them up to this seam here, which is where the, the leather or like the brown leatherish stripe is. And, you know, then going to the other side and doing the same thing with, from the other bit. <laughs> I just came, had to duck out for a big tato! Big tato! Delicious. Sounds lovely. Ah, yes, dear count. Uh, yeah, not by my choice, but <laughs> it do be there. Down. This side. I like as well that the, the stripes themselves have texture that matches the rest of the trousers because even though the stripes are a bit more 3D, which is, is what I wanted at the end of the day, it does make them appear like they do fit in with the rest of the trousers regardless of that. I do like that. I do be liking that. <laughs> How's Adward doing? Oh, Adward's doing just fine. Adward, Adward's having a great time. He's still there. Um, he is mod only right now because Adward can create issues with other uh, bots apparently. He's still there. He's still there. Oh dear. Atomic Super Geek, hi! How are you doing? Good morning. I hope you're having a good day. We are adding some pinstripes onto these trouser legs that I've made this morning for the bard costume. And we made the pinstripes this morning too. So I've had a pretty good, 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 good so far. Good, good so far. Yes, let's not forget the new channel pet AdWord. Oh yes, there, there, there they are. AdWord. Good, a good, good, a good channel pet. AdWord, the goodest of boys. I am. Um, I need to run a grocery store a minute for a couple of things. Tossed in a crock pot for dinner. What you are doing? PowerShell programming for work. Lovely. Hot dinner. Mmm. Sounds good. I hope you have a nice dinner. I like a good. I like a good. Throw it all together, and it, it sort of basically makes itself sort of meal. I hope that it's something nice. I like hot pots and things like that. That's that's a favourite. Hot pot. <laughs> Cause yeah, you just you just put it all in the pot and you like put it in the oven. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I need to come up with a menu for my Sunday cooking stream. Ooh, a cooking stream. See, I haven't really tuned into any cooking streams, but I've been very curious about them. Cause they sound pretty exciting. <laughs> and I do like cooking. Cooking's one of those things I really really like. I do a lot of cooking. Baking I don't do quite as much of, but I love cooking. What are you thinking? Oh wait, we should do a doopity doop. The bloopity doobities. <laughs> 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 
when Speedma gets there first. Oh. I'll have to have a look into that, because that sounds really that sounds that sounds very exciting. Um unfortunately on Sundays I, I do work. Um unfortunately until four o'clock and then I have to travel home. But if, if it's still running when I do manage to eventually get home, I'll try and <laughs> try and, <laughs> I'll try and tune in. It's it's unfortunate because at the moment, uh, most of the public transport that gets to where I live doesn't run. Um, so I have to take a very roundabout way to get home, but I will do my very best if I can. Otherwise, I'll try and watch the VOD. Uh, two to three hour streams. Okay. There's a chance. <laughs> there is a chance. Uh, when do I normally get home? It's normally before six, so... Hopefully I should be okay. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but there we are. Oh dear. I'd like to see it though. What do I do for work? I work in retail. Which I know a lot of people are very against, which is fair. Because I feel like if you don't like your colleagues and you don't get along with that, then it's probably not the best job. But, or if you don't, also I guess if you don't like people, not keen on that sort of like chatting with people all the time and stuff, that's fair. I, I, I like retail. Um, normally, I would be doing like more specific like bra fitting, things like that, but at the moment, I, I'm not doing that because, of course, with two meter distancing and things like that, that's not my type of job. So I'm just working more vague retail right now. <laughs> vague retail because my job is not a job that I can do right now. That's okay. Someone has to do it, so the rest of us to take part in stopping therapy. Exactly, and I actually like retail. Um, again, a lot of it comes down to the fact that I really love my co-workers and like I get along very well and you know, the people that you work with can often make or break your job and I'm very lucky in that they make my job. But um Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. My biggest issue with retail is working hours often the weekends and evenings. I, I could understand that being a big issue for a lot of people. For me, I only work the weekends, um, which works well for me right now uh, at where I am. For a lot of people, that won't work for them, um, which is fair enough. For me, that's fine. For a lot of people, it's not going to be okay. Um, but because I can only really do a couple days a week right now, that, that is good for me works well for both of us they want they want that that's what I can do <laughs> uh, yeah the, the the later shifts I'm not quite so keen on like I'm doing a later shift tomorrow and I, I will I'm not gonna lie I'm not I'm not so keen on that I mean the only reason I'm not keen on like the closing shift so I have nothing wrong with doing a later shift it's because people don't leave the store <laughs> At the end of the day, it's really difficult for me to leave my, like the shift on time because people won't leave the store. <laughs> that's the only reason I don't like late shifts. It's because you get to the end of the day and you just want to go home and because you're tired. It's the end of your shift and for me, if I don't leave on time, I miss my train. <laughs> so, or bus depending on the day. And so, you just want to leave and people won't leave the store. <laughs> so you're kind of just there like, ah! Oh, say you could do something like this, Will. Ten more points, and I can get an emote. We could do this. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god. God, the Venga bus is coming. Ten horns, Jelly. Oh, thank you for chilling with us today, Atomic. That's very kind of you. Oh, yeah, that's the only reason I'm not quite so keen on the late shifts. 
end of my shift and also not miss my train. Um, I think. Yeah. I wish I'd found this steam sooner. Oh, very kind of you. Ah, oh, another one for winged. We can do another one for winged. Yeah. Oh dear, we just chill chat. So. One more. <laughs> I like evening shifts also, even though my morning shift starts at 6 a.m. I would also much prefer to start at 6 a.m. I'm, I'm much more that kind of person. Oh, uh, George! One more? Do you think we should fix uh, find sex sheet music for that? Just. I actually um, found some classical guitar, guitar music for the whole of the Venga bus. It's not my favorite. Like not because of anything they done it just um I don't know I think I would change a couple things. I I it, the way that they play it I think is not quite the same way that I would play it but I found some classical sheet music for the whole of the Venga bus and I was like whoa. That's that's amazing. Again I think I'd probably start from scratch and just uh you know we do a few bits and bobs because we well, redo the whole thing but not because of anything wrong with the white way that they did it. They did it fine. But it's not in the style that I play. <laughs> this is the thing. It's not in my style, but it, it was like, whoa. Another. For the whole song. And another. <laughs> the sheet music on the score is for tenor. Oh. I could do 200. For at the moment. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. It's coming. And where it goes is finger. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, mm, have you, I mean quite often I find a, a different of course for different instruments, uh, so I, I don't presume to know necessarily for sax and how easy it would be, but sometimes I find tabs if you go on to like uh, YouTube people write tabs and sometimes you know if they've played the song themselves they'll leave the tab in their description I don't know if they would have done it for for the Venga bus <laughs> but that's like how I found the tab for the Venga bus again for a classical guitar I don't know it's just whether or not it would have been specifically for one that work what you're looking for I don't know I don't know though ah oh dear yeah sometimes they find sheet music that way yeah it's like not always the easiest way to find it because of course a lot of people don't want to leave it for free and stuff like that which is completely fair enough you've taken the time to transpose it like yo you you know that's completely fair enough but some people will I, I mean I also will buy the sheet music as well because it's like if it's good I'll take it Oh dear. Oh, clapping. Have a great day and good luck on the stiffy food. Oh, thank you so much, clapping. Good luck with the rest of your day and thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, back with coffee because otherwise I'll fall asleep on the keyboard. Oh, David. You need to head off at any point. Please do head off. But thank you for stopping by. And I, officer, of course, hope that you enjoy <laughs> the coffee. Oh dear. But also I missed the horn! Oh no! Another horn. Get that horn. Let me find that horn for you. Here we go. What? Are we doing this? Does this work again yet? Yeah. <laughs> Open this wallet and turns upside down. 37 cents and a button for that. Buttons are great. Don't underestimate that button. You never know. <laughs> what emote should I unlock? Um, I don't know. Which one do you like? Which one do you like? Which one do you think you get the most use out of? It sounds like my upstairs neighbor's walking a horse around their apartment. A horse around their apartment. <laughs> oh, that's a large animal. That's a large animal they've got up there, Zero. Oh. Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, unlock Bob. <laughs> Wait, why Bob? 
Bob is only useful in very specific conversations, I feel. <laughs> Angry Bob. I like the hype one. Oh dear. I use the hot one. Uh, nearly finished one one half of one leg and it do be looking like a watermelon but what well, kind of like a backwards watermelon so i would have thought it would have been the darker color with the like lighter stripes on top but it do be looking like a backwards watermelon uh i'm not like the other jellies i'm a cool jelly have you got shades Oh, got them shades. Who is Bob? <laughs> so Bob is my laptop. <laughs> Bob, is, Bob is my laptop. But then Bob is also every time we talk about Bob's. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Don't disrespect me for we Bob. Oh my god. Terp! Terp! <laughs> Whoa! Bob is, Bob is my laptop. But Bob also gets brought up during conversations about Bobs. I don't, I don't really know how else to put that. <laughs> no delicate way of putting that. My white pen, there we go. I was gonna say, my white pen will not work. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Bob's become multifunctional. <laughs> I don't know how this has happened so much. How has this happened so much? I don't know. Also, can. <laughs> I'm sure, there's a way of think just a little further because it's getting a bit difficult. Oh wait, like if women don't have a proper bra fitted like jelly, they would have angry balls. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, why use Bob Ross when you can have angry Bob? I do like I do like the Bob Ross though. Uh she skipped my euphemism with emotes. Sorry. What is up the world? <laughs> oh, I really like the songs where they use speaking in them. They're my favorite. They're my favorite. Oh, uh, Square Bob's also often gets overlooked, hence their anger. <laughs> so much anger. The anger of the world. Square Bob's. Angry Bob's. <laughs> uh, God damn it. <laughs> How about. Whoa! Pixel Bob and Cool Story Bob. Oh, I do. I used to watch a lot of Bob Ross growing up. I really love. I love. I loved it. So cool. Very pain. I used to watch a, uh, like the show when I wasn't very well. So we didn't watch cartoons if we weren't very well. Often we would watch like. The things that would be considered stuff that we could learn from and like Bob Ross would be one of them so because I could technically learn from it and oh rainbow bacon thank you for the follow it's very kind of you and yeah so it was like Bob Ross and oh I loved Bob Ross I, it was my, one of my favorites do birds for square bobs have Tupperware instead of cups oh my god no, but that's a thought for the future. I mean, I would. I. Damn it. The flippin' speaking within the songs. Oh dear. Thinking of the future there. Thoughts for the future. I. 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 Just too much. It's too much. I can't even. Whoa. <gasps> oh, dear. Tet, hi! What are you doing there? I hope you're having a good day. Tet in the house. You know there's, there's no way to live without these. Wait, hyper parkour. Wait, yeah, no, I've been getting those and I don't... I don't... 
going on? Where are they? Where are they? Get back here. Right. I think I know what these... Right. Now. Now. <laughs> Someone can explain this. <laughs> uh, morning, it's 9am here. Rainbow Bacons, it's so early. I hope that you get yourself a nice breakfast or something. Oh, dear. Such an egghead. Oh, hey, yeah, you an egg? I hope you're a good egg. No, I know you're a good egg. You're a good bean. Beans and eggs are not so different. Oh dear. Whoa, Zay! Zay, oh my god. Would you look at all them? Wait, I like the one that looks like a crown. What's that called? Hyper crown. Like a hyperactive crown? Whoa. Like, whew, all over the place. You know who needs that crown? Zero. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Wait! Wait a minute. Wait. What the what? Did you just... Add two, three... What the Why? <laughs> That's very kind of you. Why? Oh dear! Thank you so much! There's, hush, there's, there's no... Hush, there's no benefit to being a tier <laughs> I made it so that if there's only a tier, tier 1! <laughs> oh, Hush! Oh dear! Oh god, don't cry. I... Oh dear. Oh, did people get stuff in chat? Oh dear, yay. Wait, stop! Hush it there! Stop! No! No! What are you doing? Stop it! Oh, you broke my alerts! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Hush it! No! 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 <laughs> oh, my alerts are just like... Uh. Oh my god! He's gifting tier 1 so he has more underlings! <laughs> oh my god! I mean, thank you so, so much. It's very, very kind of you. Oh yeah, I don't know Hush's gender. That's very true. I just refer to everyone. Terrible of me, to be honest. <laughs> Until I get corrected. My oh, badge looks so cute. It's a bean! I said a little mitochondria with a smiley on it. <laughs> it's meant to be a bean, but we'll go with mitochondria. Can someone give it 100 bits so we can get a hype trade started? No! Going <laughs> not. That's cute. I have no bits. No, no, no. No, that with no need. There is literally no need. No, David. <laughs> stop. It's very, very kind of you. Wait, Hush, stop. No. No, there is no need. There is no need! Wait, what's going on? Wait! <gasps> what's go- No! Also my alerts have just fully straight up broken. What's happening here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, am I on a hype train? It's not popping up on my end. Oh, Lord. Ah. Ah. So intense, you've broken the alert. Guys. <laughs> there is no need to do this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, wait, do we just do level... Oh, oh, 
Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm really sorry everyone. It's been realized now that everything's happened. Oh, oh, okay. It's realized what's happened and it's caught up. Get ready, everyone. I hope you're ready. I, I severely hope you're ready for some, for some, for some, for some, for some stuff now. Oh wait, what's happening here? Oh no, you, uh, Hasha, this is very, very, very kind of you, but my, my Streamlabs has full on whooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, devil pack! <laughs> I'm trying very hard. <laughs> oh my god! And and George and Dem, thank you so much for the bits as well. Thank you so so much. It's very very kind of you. Oh dear, I think we're now about to have like about a million horns. Um, very very sorry for anyone who's not super keen on the horns because it's about to be like. Opposite. Pon Central! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Any double. It's alright, we're still getting there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> Bob, yeah. Uh, <laughs> double Dootin, we're double Dootin. Rip Streamlabs. Streamlabs is full on, full on is, is, is kicked the bucket, but it's, it seems it's fine. I like how the music goes with the tentacles spinning. <laughs> oh, God. God. Yeah, I, I, I um, it just sounds like the six flags I'm going back to the beginning over and over again. Oh, and Winged, thank you for the hundred cheer as well. Thank you so, so much. I think I missed that one within everything that went happened. Thank you so much. Uh, who doesn't love the horn? I, I, I like the horn. It's very loud. Um, so I think some people find the horn to be... I don't know. <laughs> Somewhat obtrusive? Obtrusive is, is that the word? Like they might be happy sleep lurking. And then suddenly it's like, oh did you want to be awake? Oh dear. A lot of people are about to be very shocked that they're subscribed. I also just uh, putting it out there. Although, Hasha, thank you so much for all of those gift subs. It's very, very kind of you. Anyone that did receive a gift sub, of course, don't feel any um, any requirement to continue that after that your gift sub's up. Of course, please do enjoy the emotes for the month that you have them. Please don't feel like you have to subscribe after the month is up. Your presence is always more than enough. <laughs> oh, dear. Give it a tier one to win. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, David! David! What are you doing? <laughs> God damn it! Oh, thank you, David! That she doesn't want that money! Find a refund! <laughs> oh, dear! Oh, choo choo! What a hype punk! <laughs> Oh dear. Unhype refund train. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so anyone anyone who did. Yeah, I just I don't want anyone to feel like they have to after the first month or feel like worried about it, like no. But the thing like, it's so much. How often do you get level five hype trains? It happened one time when Andy um Andy the uh, body painter, Andy she raided me once when I had um oh there's Dan's cheer <laughs> when uh Andy raided me and people came in and I had been streaming for like I had been streaming for like what I don't know 
not even a month at that point. No, a month. I'd only just hit affiliate. I'd only just hit affiliate. Like, like the day before or like a couple days before. And then Andy raided me and people came in and were like, <laughs> and like I did, I did technically hit a level five hype train then. It was, and I was just like, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't even know what a hype train was. Yeah, Andy Ray, she does body pain and it's phenomenal. And I was ranting about cheese and it was very embarrassing. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Nat, Husha came in and just gifted like a butt ton of subs. And then we got a level five hype train. <laughs> My guys, I'm back, what did I miss? <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> like, I should just come in and give the butt on subs. And we had a level five hype train. <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't know. Not Hasha, Hasha, <laughs> not Hasha, Hasha. And then, and then, yeah, I don't know. And now, no, yeah, this is what's happened. I'm reading subs like a subway store got hit by a tornado. That's exactly what happened. Zero's got it bang on the nail head. I'm just I'm making a wall trouser. <laughs> it's a bit less than metric dwarven ass load. It's a little bit less than metric dwarven ass load. Uh, did Andy raid someone named Hash? No, <laughs> Andy didn't raid someone named. Well, at least not as far as I know. Oh dear. I'll shoot you a streamer. Is there anywhere I can shout you out or anything? Oh. Mental image though. <laughs> yeah. I would love, yeah, sub sandwich just like, whoa. <laughs> Gucci fam, are you sure? Oh, Barnaby Wiggle soon. Oh, hi. Goodbye, jellyfish. Take care. Goodbye, Barnaby. I'm sorry if I didn't notice that you were here. Apologies, but I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. I should bring uh, hash brown's delicious. Hash browns are absolutely delicious. Oh dear. Damn, the sip tea does it anyway. <laughs> oh. Girls, I think I missed the actual raid, but followed the shout out on a whim. Oh. Yeah, my Twitch channel isn't really worth a shout out, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I feel like after that, it's the least I could do. I mean, again, very, very kind of you. At the end of the day, if you're here to chat and chill, your presence is always enough. But it's very, very kind of you. Oh dear. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, man. Woman, I mean, man, I feel, is, is man a universal turn? Cause I do call everyone man. Oh dear. Oh, I feel like man's a universal term. <laughs> why do we, why you do? Zero is just a bit. Stop shouting me out, I don't stream. <laughs> oh, Daniel Pickford, hi. How are, you, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Daniel. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Um, we're making some trousers for Bard. They look like watermelon trousers right now, but we will shade them. Probably next week at this point, but we will shade them and I feel like they'll look less like watermelons. <laughs> um, sometimes your work looks like watermelons before it looks like trousers. <laughs> Especially with all the extra poof I've put in them. But I hope you're having a good day. They were last playing no game. Wait, is that what it says? They were playing no game. <laughs> You're damn right. Oh, zero. I, I think we're gonna have to shut you up forever for that. I mean, you, you really were last playing no game. You're gonna be the first person to reach like a ridiculous amount of followers for never doing anything. <laughs> like as far as streaming goes. Oh. Uh, is this Dem's long-term goal? Who knows? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's better than they were last playing Twitch API error. 
I mean, it, it is it is better than they were last playing Twitch API error. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, thanks. I was just wondering, do you use a lot of Velcro for your cosplays? Um, so because a lot of my cosplays end up being fabric, I use a lot more zips than I do Velcro. Um, but I do use Velcro as soon as I go over to foam. <laughs> as soon as anything includes foam, I'm like, Velcro everything! Um, so I do use a lot of Velcro with anything that's like 3D or, or like uses 3D elements. I use a lot of Velcro for those pieces because also it means bits come across apart easier and they're easier to transport. But I prefer zips. I don't know why. I, I actually I don't really have a clue why. I've just always lent towards zips. I've always lent towards zips. Um I don't know. I don't know. I'm a zip lady. I like zips. <laughs> uh I feel a custom command for zero coming on. Oh no. Do people have trains next to their name? Why? The hype train conductors. Oh! Wait, is that why? I, I did wonder. I thought... Ah... Uh, I see. With Winged, it kind of matches his name on at least my... My side. And with a couple of people, it matches their names too. So I'm like, oh, it just... It looks nice. <laughs> it makes Winged look very snazzy. He's a conductor. Oh. How many more pieces do I need? Maybe only two? Because these pieces aren't at a strong diagonal, so I don't think I'd need too many more. The person who gifted the most bits or most subs get a, get a trains badge. Oh! And because you all did 100 bits, and then of course she did all of the subs, they get, they get the trains. Choo -choo. <laughs> I think we should. It would be hilarious for the only person with a custom shout out to not even be a streamer. It would be kind of hilarious. But Zero doesn't want the shout outs. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad. I guess with Velcro it could stick to a lot of things. I think also because, yeah, a lot of the fabrics that I use are a tad more delicate sometimes. Especially with some of the more, the more fancy the more fancy costumes, they end up being a bit more delicate, and with that being the case, I'd... the Velcro probably wouldn't hurt it that much, but I'd be a bit concerned. So you're not, yeah, you're not wrong with that. But zips, on the other hand, well, yeah, it could definitely damage the costume if I'm not zipping things up correctly. It's it's less likely. But again, as soon as anything 3D element comes in, the Velcro is a huge help. I'm a big fan of it. I think also, it's it, different in different areas, I'm sure, but where in where I can get Velcro, <coughs> excuse me, I can get it in navy red, kind of a very pale beige, and black and white, and that's the only colours I can get it in, whereas zips, I can get them in a really wide variety of colours, so quite often for a lot of projects, if I'm worried that something might show, it might be a little bit better for me. Yeah, that's kind of that. Oh dear. I think we should. Oh wait, yeah. Sorry, I read that one. The purple one means you were the previous conductor. Oh, wait. The train and the train too is very cute. Oh my god, choo choo. <laughs> I'm just going to trim off the extra bits at this end. There we go. And all of these. <laughs> Wait, is it to avoid lewd? I mean, <laughs> not maybe specifically lewd, but, um, you know, like, zip to avoid. I guess, yeah, technically, like if, it, if you had like a really delicate fabric covering any v private areas, maybe. But normally I maybe use the more robust fabric over those areas. <laughs> to be careful. Um, did he fall onto the tracks? I hope not. 
Because that would be a very dramatic fall onto the tracks. That's a, that's like a you break your back onto the tracks. Like that's a woo. No good. No good. Oh my 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 streamlabs then was not happy. I I should have if only I could record my screen from my side. You should have seen it. It was like nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Everything's happening. It was so confused. It was, it was so confused. It just it had like a full on like ah attack. <laughs> it wasn't sure what to do. Um what kind of things do you use velcro for in your cosplays? So I use them on shoes quite often. So for covers on shoes. So I'll have like a plain pair of shoes and then I want it to fit the cosplay more. So I will make a pattern for the shoes and cut it out of fabric, things like that. But then to so that it can slip over the shoe properly, I'll use Velcro on the bottom and Velcro on the top uh, to like kind of attach it over the top. So like, yeah, shoe socks, exactly. Shoe socks is a really good way of putting it. I think I have them all now. We're saying that you should give the crown to zero. <laughs> Because it's like the full guy's crown. But yeah, it looks like you've got mo at least almost all of them. It looks like all of them. I remember there weren't as many from this one. But yeah, shoe socks. Exactly like shoe socks. And um, you were being facetious. <laughs> it is like shoe socks though. You, you're not wrong. It is like shoe socks. And I use Velcro for them. Uh, because for the bottom and for the back. Um, because a zip on those, on the bottom and on the back, it would be a bit not great not great so i use that and for attaching again like 3d elements for instance on the wig that we're about to put together next week for garbador it's got two like pom pommy bits likely we're going to use velcro to attach those two bits like that to costumes i'll use velcro for those because they can be stored separately to the rest of the costume um so things like that will be attached by Velcro sometimes. Occasionally sleeves might be attached by Velcro if they're very dramatic and they can be. Um, and that that will be. But normally it would only be armor that I'd use it on. So armor pieces, so like gauntlets, things like that. And I'd use Velcro on those. Not so much anything with fabric. Uh, unless those are in fact covered in fabric. <laughs> uh, no, the tiny con I was going to last week was canceled like right now. Oh, Chi Chi, I'm so sorry. You've really not had very much luck with meetings, gatherings, and cons. <laughs> Will, you have the crown. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad that you got the crown. I'm sorry that your con has been cancelled. Like, wow. Cons, meetings, and gatherings, Chi Chi. I'm really sorry. It does seem like every time something is popping up for you that it does get cancelled. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed again, like another one pops up soon or that they can reschedule or anything like that. Because I know, yeah, cons really do become like a big part of the culture and everything like that. And it'd be nice if there was something that you could go to soon. So the Serene sub never showed up on my Streamlabs and they were sad. They didn't do any damage to your health bar because of the glitch. Oh, I forgot to mention. Sorry, my questions are about Velcro. No, nah, you ask away. If you have questions about Velcro, ask. It, because it's not one that I use so often because I do mainly use it for armor and I don't make as much armor, I might not be able to answer as great as maybe somebody else could, but I'll definitely give it my best shot. Oh dear. I just wandered in here just to sort everything went insane, but this seems cool. Oh, Reckless Jumper, hi. Yeah, sorry, I was probably a bit of a mess for a minute because I was just like, what's going on? But hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Also, I like your name. <laughs> Most reckless of jumpers. Also, we're going to do some concentrated sewing again. <laughs> For the pinstripes on the front half. And then I'll kind of show you how it sits. And then hopefully, you start to see less watermelon, more trousers. I wear the crown. <laughs> oh my god, you do! <laughs> I had my hope up that this con would have gotten to keep going since it was um more than 100 it freaking sucks oh god so it was like a kind of quite an organized event then oh dear also jenny now you need to add a tier two and tier three emote yeah i mean if people have any ideas for what 
what people would like to see and stuff like that. I mean, you you go and you can tell me. At the end of the day, most of the time, people in the chat have the best ideas. Oh, Bella, Bella Geiger? Bella Geiger, thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. <laughs> I'll be honest, I kind of held off putting anything in them because I was like, I don't really want to persuade people to donate or like, you know, sub that high because at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't want to persuade people to put money towards the stream. Because it's not just like, I will put any money that goes towards the stream back into the stream. I'm kind of just having a good time. But like, it's very, very kind and being nice, like, well, I guess I should pop something there for them. But like, very kind of Hasha, at the very least I can give them an extra emote. <laughs> oh dear. Big hat, <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. I would start by asking the only person who had them unlocked. That is true! I mean, if Usher has any ideas for the emote that they would have interest in, go for it! The body hissy fit! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hi, thank you for the follow, it's very kind of you! Most people think I'm weird for liking Velcro, but I think it's a really cool thing. Nah, man! Like, it's incredibly useful. Well, it's in the same way that I'm like, super super attached to these things <laughs> like i don't know how much of the stream i've talked about the bias binding makers but like you could you could literally take a cut of every time i've started talking about bias binding makers and like yeah i did use them during the stream but there was really no reason for me to talk about them probably quite as much as i did i love these things i talk about them any given opportunity i can because i just think they're so useful and i spread the word uh an R dear emote! Oh no! <laughs> oh, an R dear emote! Hello! <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely day, tea party. I love your name, by the way. But yeah, hope you're having a good day. Tier 2, R dear. Tier 3, ad word. Oh, ad word. Ad word. A sip tea emote with tea. Oh, a sip tea one would be pretty cute. Oh, because we do offer around a lot of tea as well. I'm like sipping that tea. Oh, actually, I do have a question. Um, this might be a really dumb question. You can call me out as dumb if I'm being dumb here. When people are watching the stream, I've got it, of course, so that you can unlock emotes. Um, you can unlock a random one, or you can unlock one by uh, watching, I think. Um, but with that unlocking one, would that include unlocking tier 2 and tier 3, or would it only uh, extend to the ones that are like the tier 1 emotes? Because it would be kind of cool if it extended to all of them, but I, I'm kind of assuming it only extends to the tier 1 emotes. I'm making a guess it might. Oh dear, hey Jo. How far are we from unlocking the tier 5 slot anyway? No, only tier one. Okay, thank you. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I, I thought it might be that. I can find out. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Yeah, we've. I think we've unlocked the tier five. Uh, the uh, sorry, the next emote slot. <laughs> I think we might have unlocked it. I will check just to make sure. Um. <laughs> Thanks to thanks to Husha and of course um, I know David did donate one as well. I'm pretty sure that that might be. Um, I think Jason donated some earlier in the month as well. Let me just check. Um, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I I do have a I yeah yeah I have a I have an emote slot. <laughs> So we have we have we have unlocked an emote slot, yeah. I thought I thought I thought we might have. Oh dear. <laughs> so we have another tier one emote slot free as well. So if anyone has any ideas for another tier one emote slot, that is also on the card. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
my god. <laughs> oh. So we have we have a few. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, that's your heart. <laughs> Over our dear for the <laughs> for the tier one. <laughs> I mean, do you want to do like an actual poll? Because we could do a poll like our oh, dear sips tea. Um, there was another good one. Oh, there's ad word as well. Um, but I don't know. If, I don't think ad word is probably going to be as popular. Because <laughs> we we could do that and see what people vote for. Since it's not only one that most of the subs can use, but it's also one people could unlock. <laughs> Something like, like oh, <laughs> uh, I I think it was add word. Oh dear, is there any other ideas anyone can think of? Because we can add that to the poll as well. Oh dear, add word. Um, drinks tea. Uh, we could do surprised face in there as well. Surprised face slash huh? If, if we want to add the one from Turp. Okay, so surprise face, a uh, surprise face, surprise face slash huh? And oh, I mean, am I a shy jelly? <laughs> uh, a shy jelly? Yeah, we could probably do like a shy jelly. Yeah, because to be fair, that's like an uh, like we haven't got anything like that. We've got like angry got hearts yeah shy jelly could get one yeah i feel like that'd be a cute one oh the reindeer so basically an our dear concept oh, okay C came for the streamer stayed for the mods we got some we get yeah the mods here are bloody hilarious Oh dear. They stream uh, not not zero. <laughs> zero doesn't stream. The the other mods do. Um, bugger off. <laughs> I said it as part of the thing. The other one. No. <laughs> Zero doesn't stream, but Dem does. Oh dear. But uh, and Shifty, he's another mod, but he he's not here at the moment. A good team mods. Oh dear. Yeah, Hush, if you have any ideas, feel free to pop them forward as well. But of course, no pressure. <laughs> like thinking of emotes is ah. Oh yeah, no, he's never gonna do it to himself, so we we all have to just shout out Dem constantly. Because Dem refuses to shout out Dem. So there, there he is. <laughs> A shy jellyfish emote. Okay, well if it doesn't go through, I'll try and make sure it's one of the tier three or tier uh, twos. There we go. <laughs> Right, I think we're ready for a poll though. And you've been shouted out. <laughs> if not once, then you've definitely been shouted out. At least once. I can always do it again. I'm ready. I've got it copy pasted. <laughs> the power at the fingertips. Uh, very I also need to do a, uh, what do you call it? Six month, uh, uh, six month? Yeah, at some point. Which I think we decided was going to be bean flour. <laughs> Even though, <laughs> what is bean flour? <laughs> bean sprout and bean make sense. Like jelly bean, bean sprout. Okay, bean flour. <laughs> but I guess it's fine. <laughs> you know what? Then again, I don't think I like the idea of like bean curd either, so not sure about it. I have one shy, two idea, three adword, four sip tea, and five 
Heart open now. Yeah, sounds good. They sound top tier. Thank you, Dem. Appreciate it. Yeah, they sound great. I I won't vote though. <laughs> Even though my first my first instinct was like, I'll vote. No, um, no, no votes for me. <laughs> Am streamer will not vote. <laughs> will contain myself and not vote in poll. <laughs> I don't think I'll- Oh, Shifty Blue, welcome back! I don't think I'll even be able to to see the poll, to be honest, because... I don't think- I don't think my- my- my thing is back to normal. Let's see, can I see the poll? Uh... Uh... I don't think so. But I guess that's fine. Sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd be like you can't see what's right in front of you. Either that or it's not there. I'm not sure. Oh dear. Oh no, I can see it! Oh, amazing. But I'm not gonna vote. Three minutes. Go vote! I can see them. Yay! <laughs> God damn it. There it goes. Oh. So yeah, Shifty, welcome back. We're having a poll because we have an emote slot. Um, thanks to Husher. Um, I don't know if you were here, Shifty. We had a we had a hype train. Um, that was basically because of Husher, but then we did also have some very kind donations from um uh, Dem and from, uh, from Dem and from Dideless and from George. So yeah, we did, we did have that too. Oh no, not from Dideless, from David to Dideless. Excuse me. And yeah, it, it was basically much hype, but now we've got a, an emote slot. And so we are having a vote for the tier one emote slot right now. In, in case you're wondering what is happening. Uh, as much as I, as much as I would love an ad word emote, I voted tactfully. That is, that, that is, that is fair. You never know. <laughs> oh, oh, it's close. Sip T and R dear, they are they are close. I didn't know that Sip T would get that many votes, but ooh, ooh, we want we we're close between Sip T and R dear. Ah. Oh. I supervised? Reckless Jumper! Ooh, you're supervising. Fair enough. Only seven people have voted. That's fair. I know there'll be people that don't want to vote in this, which is completely fair. It's That's right, there may be lurkers or those with no preference. This is a the thing. There'll be people that don't that don't mind so much. Jesus Christ! Oh Husha! Husha! Thank you again so much! <laughs> it's so kind of you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sure. Can't have a supervisor without a sub. Oh. Sure. Deary me. Very, very kind of you. Ah. Supervisor. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, genuinely amazing. Oh dear. Oh, and Reckless Jumper, thank you for the follow. That's very, very kind of you. Supervising this poll. Make sure that everything goes down okay. Don't have any people, you know, cheating. I don't know how you cheat a poll, but you know, make sure that no one's voting for more than one thing somehow. There we go. Well, we have a winner. And this will be the new emote. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, because someone's gonna count me on it. But everyone else can say it. So that's gonna be the new one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, there we go. <laughs> uh <laughs> Don't worry. Thanks. Oh. Miss Maybug, hi, how have you done? I've been very good, thanks, Miss Maybug. I've been lovely. How are you doing? I 
hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. We making some watermelon pants. <laughs> oh. And it's been a it's been a crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. Remaining four for tier two and tier three. Um Yeah, I mean, we kind of want the shy one because I think um Hasha kind of said that a shy one would be good. And since Husher is the only person that would be making use of it right now, probably use do the shy jellyfish as one of them. But um since it didn't do the tier one. But and since uh, the shy one is probably gonna be one of those, and the second place was Sips tea, why not just use Sips tea as tier two? I think that's probably gonna be for now, maybe the best. Yeah, there's only one. We we haven't advertised it because it's like, this is why we were like, there's no benefits to doing this. No benefits. <laughs> like, if you want to subscribe, that's very, very kind of you, of course. Um, any any money from the stream goes back into stream to fabrics or stuff like that. But we don't advertise tier three. <laughs> because it's like, what? It's very, very kind of you. It's like, um, that's why there were no benefits to it, because it was like, you know, your presence is always enough as far as popping into the stream. Um, you know, so that's kind of how we'd done it. That's how the stream was. Just, you, you know, we like having people here and chatting. And so that's how we did it. Oh. Uh, Partnered gets more. Yep, you. Oh, do I. Oh. Oh god, wait, wait! Gasha! Oh my god! Oh my god! Also, I could see two horns! There we are! One for Ted and one for Will! I'm doing good! I'm so glad you're sleeping while I'm painting! Oh, Miss Maybug, what are you painting? Oh, the guitar, have you started work on that yet? We have! But unfortunately, I couldn't get any vinyl, so I couldn't continue with it! Oh. Wait! Did you just gift a tier 3 to Miss Maybug? <laughs> oh my god! Usher, what are you doing? Usher, are, are you sure? Are you okay? Are you okay with the atomic super kick? <laughs> I can't handle this. Oh, atomic! Thank you so much. I can't do this. <laughs> Oh my god. Atomic, you subscribed at tier two? Two month on tier, on tier two streak. Atomic, what are you? Oh, thank you so much. That's a tier two. Oh my god. No break streamer. What's going on? I'm shaking. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you guys are making it very difficult to sew pinstripes onto this, I swear to god. Oh my god. Thank you so much, everyone. It's like legitimately very, very kind of you. Um I I hope like Hush, like it's very, very, very kind of you. Um I, I hope genuinely that you are enjoying the stream. And of course, you're, you know, you're always welcome back whether you are throwing away your money or not. <laughs> um, like, genuinely, it's lovely just to have people popping in and chatting or lurking and stuff like that. Like, genuinely. But um, thank you so much. It's very, very kind of you. Um. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Never had a tier three before, what does it mean? Well, right now, <laughs> it doesn't mean too much because I never expected to get a tier three sub. So, we, but it will mean that you will have two extra emotes um, because we are gonna make two extra emotes and we'd actually just done a poll. So you're gonna have a, a shy emote uh, and it's going to also be a sipping tea emote. So I hope you look forward to having those once they're made and approved. <laughs> oh. 
dear, no easy pinstripes for Jelly. Poor woman was just trying to turn himself into John Cook and Man and Pants. Not throwing away if it keeps the stream alive. I, I, well, this is what I've always said. Like, I, I love crafting and I would be making this whether I'd be making it on stream or not. But what I found is through streaming, like I found a way of chatting with a lot more people more frequently. Um, and that's, I, I've been much happier since I've started streaming. So, because I've met, I've been able to talk with people a lot more. So that's why the the donations are closed and like we don't advertise um, a tier three subs because it's very very kind when people do donate to the stream. It's very 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 kind, and I don't want to be like, how could you? <laughs> it's really really sweet, and I really really appreciate it. And like any money that's just come through, I will be popping straight back into the stream, um, probably to a microphone to be quite honest, because. <laughs> That's probably what it's gonna go to, but um, I, it <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, people have been real buggle recently. It takes a while, yeah. It it does take a while, Tup. Thanks for the yeah. You got a hex. Not throwing away. Ah. Oh. I keep getting sucked into programming, so I've been living my crafting vicariously through you. Oh, Reckless, I'm glad. I'm sorry that the, the programming has been so, so intense recently. God, Mugeta, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing really well. I hope you are also doing well. It's been a very intense day, God. <laughs> God, it's been an intense day. When do we donate? It's because we love your stream and in a way of giving back. So much for cheering us on with your stream. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so, so kind of you, Octavic. I really do appreciate it. Oh, right. Oh, zero, what this? I think it's cheese. <laughs> zero, I think you've received some cheese. Honestly, that's a good gift. Oh, dear. So the results are in tier one, oh dear. Tier two, sip tea. Si tier three, shy. Is that correct? Yes. I believe that's going to be the next one because I think our, our dear really needs to be available to everyone so that was the one that was highest voted and I, you know what, I think that's actually a really good one I'm kind of glad that that one did win because that does seem to be the one that's used by the most people and it's kind of like been the, a, a meme on the channel for the longest time Cheese! That is cheese! Everyone's now posting cheese! Um, it's been a, like kind of a sort of, you know poke fun for the longest time so I think that's a good one that, that most people would have access to but then the shy and the, and the sipping the tea I think would be a really nice one and especially yeah if that's the one that Hashi was looking for oh, that's the one that we're gonna do <laughs> that, that's how that's gonna be don't forget the crackers you gotta have some crackers with the tea well, you gotta be careful what you put in chat because oh bless her who was it that got caught was that samantha that got caught out by that the other day <laughs> oh so funny <laughs> what were we talking about oh i can't even remember but got caught out by something like that but that would have been a really good i realized that wasn't the streamer but that was that would have that got me <laughs> oh and pop the care lot wait for cheese and crackers <laughs> what are you talking about i don't know i don't know if tea for cheese and crackers like, while cheese and crackers is probably quite a British one, I don't know if I'd have the, t the tea on with it. If it's like hot with it, the show remotes the results are in. Tier 1 are dear, tier 2 sip tea, and tier 3 shy. A shy jelly. <laughs> and I, I will start working on those ASAP, so because it, do it does take a few days at the moment, as Terp said earlier, for um, emotes to get approved at the moment. Um, that's okay though. And thank you everyone who has been supporting the stream. Even, uh, you know, just, just turning up. You don't have to chat. <laughs> I get it. I'm a serial lurker. Like, very, very, very kind of you. Honestly, at this rate... Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh... Wallace. <laughs> Jeez, Wallace. <laughs> Oh, I love Wallace and Gromit. They were so good. I like the penguin. I can't remember what it was called, but the one with the penguin. That was, that was a good one. Was that the Suspicious Trousers? I can't, no, that wasn't the Suspicious Trousers, was it? That was a good one. Oh, my god. 
Oh. Four hours of Jesus. <laughs> I didn't know watermelon trousers would do to people. <laughs> uh, it was the wrong trousers. Oh, it is the wrong, the wrong trousers. Oh, okay. Why did I think it was... I thought it was the one with the jumper for some reason. Maybe that's also the wrong trousers. Oh. I did like that one. The penguin. Oh. Inspires much joy. Right. Now, do I start painting this right away, or do I want to sew the pins onto the other side? We had this question earlier because I'm not sure how much work I want to do before um, before I start painting. Because if I start painting and I don't like it, then I'm going to end up with something that I have to then redo. Whereas this way, if I really don't like it, I can just unpin it down here and sew on an exact replica and then do this bit again. Oh dear. I DM'd you and put in the announcements, would you like at everyone so people are aware of the emotes coming? Yeah, that'd be really cool. I, I can... I should probably mod some people in the Discord, but I've been a bit confused. If... 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 them, do you want to be modded in the Discord as well? Because I can do that. And that might... would that make it easier or not? The only person I modded was the bot, and I followed a tutorial, and... I... <laughs> and I... I might have to follow the same tutorial again. But I, I, oh no, it should be easier this time because I could just give you the same title as the bot. Which should technically be a mod, right? I just, God. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at, at Discord. <laughs> I've been practicing. But it's not, it's not my, it's not my forte. <laughs> Bingy! Oh my God, there was a time, I, I don't know how many people were in the anime sphere here, but there was a time where Pingu in the City was like in the top 10 anime because it was it was airing as an anime and that was a good time <laughs> i don't i don't know why pingu in the city was airing as an anime but oh it was a good time you can set it up so rules carry over from twitch to discord oh okay Deadly giving bots more power than humans as girls <laughs> never read any dystopian fiction well i thought that i had to so that it could welcome people in properly Otherwise, I didn't know if the bot would work or not. <laughs> oh dear. It, it still is a top 10 anime to me. Pingu in the city. Oh, it's a good anime. Where I put my phones on people using sewing machines. Oh, okay. Let me pop to the other webcam real quick. It can't keep up with my sewing machine, so it's going to look like I'm sewing at about 100 miles an hour. But it's, I just pop them here so like, that, I don't get, so that I don't get too close. And I never really go anywhere near the sewing machine when I'm sewing. Um, it's like, I'm always a couple inches away. That way it's like, it's pretty safe. And also, even if I did get like to like here, okay, there's like a guard in the way. So like, I can't fit my thumb under there. <laughs> and my thumb's too big. Um, I'd have to really push my hand underneath there. And at that point, the needle would snap. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily I should be pretty good um, you know at not getting it uh, there definitely are machines where you can sew through like your nail and stuff like that but this one is is pretty good the guards pretty low uh, I have dropped it a bit because I'm on stream and I don't want to have any mishaps <laughs> but um, you know it's going to be on the safe side but it should be okay it just means if I was sewing through any thicker pieces of fabric I might need to pop everything just a little bit higher but you can kind of you can mess around with it a bit if you've got the right tools <laughs> which come with the machine most of the time okay my dear wife sent me a recipe called best ever brownies with a desire i make these as one of the items on sunday's cooking stream so i think i'll do sunday as one oh best ever brownies Ooh, ooh. we do like a good brownie though that sounds pretty good. And if they've got the title as best ever, I don't know, that's, that's pretty high hopes. Pretty high hopes for those best ever brownies. Oh, complete oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. The bot never the bot never says that to people. You don't get invited to the Discord and have it say welcome me. No. This is a sewing stream. And then absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
That would be too intense. I am definitely doing twice baked potato casserole. That's what you've decided on? Oh. I mean, I think it's pretty stereotypical, but as, I, as a British person, I really do love potatoes. <laughs> I'm a big fan of potatoes. Go, move that over to one side. <sighs> Said it with his eyes, it was the subtext. Oh no. Right, actually, I wanna show you what this looks like here. I might do Irish soda bread. Oh my God. That's kind of what you want with like a casserole is you want like a really, really good bread with it. So I need to soak up all that nice sauce or mashed potatoes, but then it's a potato casserole. So I guess mashed potatoes might be like a little bit much. Right, let me just show you how this kind of sits on the board. Again, I can't really show you exactly because I haven't got the legs sewn up. And also I'm wearing a dress, so like that might not work. But I grab this here. Look at them stripes. <laughs> it does look like a watermelon though. But it'll be like around here, there, and then at the back. To about there. So it is, it's quite gonna be quite a tight fit, I think. At the, not a tight fit, but a... It will fit properly at the top, I think. And then I move that to there. We've got like a lot of extra fabric here, which is where a lot of the poof is gonna come from. And then around the leg too. So it's like, this is where all the extra fabric is. That's where all that poof is. But we got a lot of extra on it. I don't know if you can see very, very well, but the pinstripes have the same texture as the rest of the fabric. That's kind of what makes it look like a watermelon. <laughs> it's all that fabric. It makes it look like a watermelon. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh I, I kind of want a potato casserole now. Right, I'm gonna have to. I think. Here's the thing. I have Vampire the Masquerade starting pretty soon. So I do D and D and stuff like that. Um, so we have a Vampire Masquerade session starting pretty soon. I've got like half an hour left. I can still work on this. What would the best use of my time be? Would it be pinning more of these on and sewing them on? Or would it be practicing doing some of the painting and seeing what I thought of it? <laughs> to know if I had to destroy this. Or, or I could just use, a, I, maybe, maybe, smart move, do a scrap piece of fabric with some of the scraps and see what, <laughs> let's see what I think of it on that instead, rather than doing it straight onto the leg. Maybe do a scrap piece of fabric. That might actually be smarter. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. <laughs> I'm working on a website that has all the recipes that we love and that actually come out. It's not online yet, but hopefully soon. Ooh, okay, okay. That sounds pretty, that sounds pretty hype. Always get behind some new recipes. <laughs> so I feel like it's very easy to get caught in the recipes that you use every single day. And you know, not not e experiment with anything new <laughs> i mean we we stick to a lot of the very similar recipes and just cook them day in day out not because i don't like them i do like them but it's it's easy it's easy uh mr thorpe hi how are you doing big wave big wave uh we should mass produce these thousands and wear them in public all of us no fear <laughs> mild fear <laughs> I mean, they'd be very cool in the summer though. Very cool. Oh, have I been eating blue sherbet? It looks blue, doesn't it? Everything looks blue. No, but I have been eating green sherbet. Green sherbet. <laughs> the melon pants gang 2020. Oh. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and George, you're off to bed. You have a great day. Thank you so much, George. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day too. Take care. Right, I'm just putting a rough amount of space between them. And then I'm gonna have to grab some water and a paintbrush. I'll have to nip off very, very briefly. I don't think, I don't think it'd be too much of a fashion statement. Green on green watermelon pants. So is that so much of a fashion statement? Is that so much? I don't think it's so much of a fashion statement. I think, arguably, I, you know, I think we could pull it off. Especially if you see loads of people wearing the same sort of thing. That's fashion, that is. 
you know? <laughs> it's only if one person wears it that it's a bit iffy. And then people are like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But if 20 people wear it, fashion. <laughs> oh, people wear helmets made of watermelon to the cricket, so it wouldn't be that much of a stretch. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, you know, you watch a cricket and they always focus in on people wearing slightly interesting outfits, though. Like... <laughs> Would, would it not be one of those things that the cricket weirdly focuses on, like the people wearing the watermelon hats? Uh, watermelon pants fashion trends, fall 2020. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm getting there. Making my watermelon pants. <laughs> right. Let's trim off this bit and this bit. Oh dear. Right. This is just a practice piece. I will be right back. I just have to leave very, very briefly uh, to get some water and a paintbrush because there is not a tap in this room. And your first mistake is watching cricket while awake. You watch cricket while you're asleep? I realize now you're going to see that I have socks with foxes on them. It's okay because that's fine. That was always part of my plan that people would see my socks with foxes. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Like that. There we go. We have now got some water. Because otherwise, I would not be able to do fabric painting. And now I just have to hope that I have a fabric paint that will work for this. I mean, I'm sure that I have something that I can use. Uh, because I kind of want like a... Hmm... I might need to move the bin of sewage <laughs> that I'm using for Garbador cosplay. Um, and hmm, not sure. <laughs> BRB, you don't have a BRB screen for. Oh yeah, I do have a BRB screen for these occasions. BRB, no look at socks, please. <laughs> fox with fox. <laughs> you put them on when a fox would eat bagels with the locks. <laughs> I do. I like having interesting socks. <laughs> and these ones, are they green? Not that it matters, but I also like to enjoy my outfits. <laughs> uh, this time don't give her ideas. I do have a BRB screen, that's the annoying thing. I just don't use it anymore because I don't really take breaks on stream. I could have just gone straight to like, pee break. <laughs> like that would have been fine. I could have just done that, but instead, nope. Oops. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. What's done is done. Maybe I should get a paint palette. Or I could use a piece of paper. That's better. <laughs> Are the colours that make brown? It's like red and yellow, of which I only seem to have neon. I'm sure I have another one. Oh no, no, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm sure I have a better yellow than that. And blue? Where's blue? Do I have a blue? I don't. But I do have green. <laughs> so we'll give that a go. I'm sewing socks with hedgehogs. I see Look, fun socks. I love a good fun sock. <laughs> that's not a BRB screen. That's a tea break screen. It's close. Oh dear. Fun socks are amazing. Fun socks are amazing. Oh, I'm a huge lurker because I'm pretty busy. I'm a bit shy, but oh my god, I love it. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm glad that you are having a good time. I mean, I'm normally a pretty big lurker because I watch streams while I'm crafting myself. So like, for instance, 
I might end up putting the pinstripes on the other, you know, trouser leg with my laptop up here and I'll be sewing things on and it's very difficult for me to chat while I'm doing that sort of work. But I'll have other streams on in the background. I might say, hi, hi, I'm just going to be lurking while I'm, you know, crafting. And every now and again, I might put like a lol in the chat. <laughs> but it's it's difficult for me to do much more than that, unfortunately, because I'm, I'm literally using my sewing machine. But I, I do, that's what I do. I'm pretty sure this is what I want to do. Gave them a good shake before. They always seem to separate a little bit when I, I don't use them for a while. So, give them a good shake. Ah, oh, this is the very best of paint palettes. Yeah, classic strip of paper. <laughs> yeah. I only made a half screen sense of receiving a way out with my friend as there is a downstairs male news shot at the beginning. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh yeah, and that's not allowed on a. Uh, that's not allowed on stream, is it? And I drink tea on stream, so yeah. But sometimes I have to go make more tea. What then? What then? I have to go make more sometimes. I don't often finish my tea, even but like double on this one. Double, double. I can't seem to pop, but okay. I can get more stuff out of it than fine. Probably enough green. I don't. I don't. I don't even need green. <laughs> no puns. Yes, buttons. <laughs> ketchup and mustard. It does look like ketchup, mustard, and then green. <laughs> Whatever happens from now on, do not mistakenly sip from that glass. Oh. See, I don't want to be on stream like I've done that before, but like. <laughs> oh, it's so easily done. It's so easily done. Right. Digging this, putting it in there. I'm gonna make like a. I don't like the orange that these colors make. It's not a nice orange. It's like a really desaturated orange. Kind of grim. Kind of grim. I, just, I don't like it at all. Take that, put that in there. And I'm gonna take some of the green. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yes, that's <laughs> not the color that I wanted. Really? Probably because I needed blue. In it. That's okay. I mean, it's a color, that's for sure. Maybe it's kind of like a swampy, orangey color. It's it's a color. You know what? It's kind of brown. Green now, but that's that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> He is important. He is important. <laughs> no, one streamer got lucky because I can block the shot. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh dear. Ketchup, mustard, and wasabi. Oh yeah, wasabi. What if it tastes good? No, 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 no. We don't know unless we try. It, nope. Doesn't taste good. Bad. It's like paint water. <laughs> Painting hype. Yeah, we're gonna give it a go on like a scrap because I don't have too much time left today, unfortunately. So I just wanna give it a go. But this isn't quite the color I want, so I might need some like black in it. Uh, I'm not super great at this. <laughs> we give it a go! <laughs> and I was like, hey, look at Pete, because what else are they gonna do? It was already there. <laughs> right, pastoral pot noodles for lunch today. Oh. See, now I'm a fan of the pot noodle. But I understand other people are not a fan of the pot noodle. Just straight up putting black in this. You need to be a shade darker. So, probably not the right way of going about this. But, oh, you know what? A bit more red in you. It's <laughs> not terrible. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I think I've looked at it too long. And I think technically this is brown. So we're gonna go with it. <laughs> uh, 
Dearly counting a blessing that she did not end up putting this swamp diary on her actual melon. <laughs> ah, I think that this is like, yes. I am in fact counting my blessings mildly, but I think also this is probably the color that I want. So then what I want to do is get some, that's still a bit too much color. Get some of this and get some water and really put it into the sides. And I don't know if you can see this, but it would like, can you see that? So like, you can see where like, it's got wet at the sides and then take the paint and start working into those really wet parts. And then I'll wash it out once it's there. I'm not necessarily going to put it in that thick everywhere though, I don't think. But, hopefully once that dries, that's maybe a little bit too much actually, I think. Maybe I could put that much in some places so it looks really dirty. Uh, but, it? Maybe I want to just put some black in there too. Or no. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe the black's too strong. Then I, I say that as I reach for more. <laughs> I keep blending it out though. I, I think that's what I wanted. Maybe it just doesn't look enough like dirt. It doesn't look super like dirt to me. It kind of looks more like a stain. Which is fine. Not going for stained. Oh, a poster check. Thank you. Oh dear. Successfully talking about male nudity and noodle sounds. As I said, odd. Mm. Need more points to I want to use points. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. Hmm. And if I mix these two together just straight up, will this be a darker brown? Will be. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's enough space inside them to have that much dirt in it. I don't know if it's too much. Yeah, I think the issue is I'm putting too much in there. Maybe on the other side, if I do a little less, maybe I need a smaller brush. I like the color, to be quite honest, because it is not too dark, but I think I need a lighter brush because that's way too much. So I could probably use this to put the water on it, but I think I need to go much lighter on the amount of dirt I'm adding because that was too much dirt. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting fancy now because why not? Fair enough. The thing what I need to do is just be a little bit more tactical. I, in my adding of the dirt, if I pop it in here, close, and then blend it. Yeah, I like that more. It's still there, but it's really, really subtle. And it almost looks more like how you see rust appear in things. And it, it's, it's there, but it's not. Also, other thing is, with the fact that it's, it's wet right now, it might be a little difficult to, to get a proper read on it, but like, when it dries it won't be quite so in your face because it always looks really in your face when it's wet because of all, like how big the wet patch is but of course when it dries you won't see that massive wet patch oh dear ad word oh, one day i'll stream just to spite you whoa shout out zero full damage oh no this is what i was saying the other day it's time to talk fancy that fancy talk out of the system yeah, I think this is what I need. A like slight rusty look. And then what I could also do is add some little spots of it elsewhere. That looks like it's 
red just a little bit. Again, just like buff it out a heck ton. Okay, I'll try and show you the difference. Like, it's unfortunate, but I'll show you down there, but I think if I bring it up. So I like the right one a lot more. The right one to me is probably what I want to do. Just have that slight brown around the edges. It looked like it's got like a little bit of grime in there. And then the left one, I've gone way too heavy with the grime. So. Yeah. The, the right one is the one I like. Left one is too heavy. But yeah. There's like a little, a little darkness around there. And I think the other thing that I wanted to look at was adding some light tones, which I would do with a white. I have 192, 192. I have 9,000, 95,000. Oh my God. That's how many it is. I've been trying to calculate that for a while actually, Zero. Ooh. I quote, it always looks like wet when it's on your face. Oh no. 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 I'm going to get some Farfell Papa Yum. That sound pretty good. Nice pasta. Lovely. So I'm going to wet down this one. I don't want that. Very extreme at all. Otherwise, this is gonna get really difficult. Oh dear. Oh my. Yeah, that is an oh my. No. That's that's really difficult to send out. That is. Maybe I need to put some water down first. Try that. Oh, but then the I need some. And then we'll take some of that white and just... Yeah, so I can do it. You like getting some highlights and just blending them. Just to give some dimension to the fabric a bit more. This is going to be a process, but I, I think it's going to be worth it. <laughs> There's really no reason for me to do this, but ho! Oh! oh dear, can I maybe add a little subgirl overlay to the stream? Maybe X make jellyfish cry but here's the thing Husha I really don't want to try and uh, encourage people to subscribe <laughs> like it's very very kind but right now I don't want to encourage people to um uh, so like my goals I, I think at the moment my main goal is yes <laughs> Dem, Dem and several other people have, have tried this and, and I appreciate it. It's very, very kind. But I'm, I'm not trying at the moment to, 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 to do goals that cost any money. As kind as it is, and I, I again, I really, really appreciate it. I, I just to really quickly go over it. When I started streaming, um, my main goals were to increase my productivity for making costumes, but also because I really wanted to chat with people more. Um, I feel a little bit less isolated in my house um, because, and this isn't to do with uh, the current state of the world, this is to do with the long running like health issues more than anything because I have chronic migraines and I get stuck in the house a lot. And by streaming, I have felt like I can chat and connect with people a lot more and I don't really want to attach any monetary goals or anything like that to the enjoyment that I feel at the moment through streaming because my goal has always really been to get there. <laughs> and chat with more people and feel like that uh, and, and less isolated at home uh, and to do something that doesn't trigger migraines <laughs> which is great <laughs> but um, that's why that's why I don't have those goals and stuff on my streams because it's 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 not something where I am actively looking to at the moment do but I do appreciate it very very kind Oh dear. She's gonna be real surprised when I do add the quote commands. I am, yeah. It's gonna have so many in it. You can also gain points faster as a sub, so. It evens out. Oh, okay. He doesn't want. 
Funny. Yeah, chronic migraines really suck. They, they really suck. I, I mean, I knew migraines sucked before because I've I've seen a lot of people in my family have migraines. So it's not it's not like a I'm not I'm not acquainted with migraines. Uh, but ch chronic migraines, man. Oh, when you're looking at like more than four migraines a week. Oh. But it's a lot more under control with medication and such, but it still leaves me in the house a lot more than I'd necessarily like. And also, it kind of looks like this. So we have like a little bit- Oh, Jesus Christ! David! David! Oh! And now Nat is- Nat is- Oh, dear. Nat is now subscribed, so I hope that um, Nat enjoys the subscription. But thank you, David, that's very kind. How about bit girls, as you can get them for free when you watch ads? Um, I'll consider it. Consider it. Sadly, in my time zone, I have to wake up at 2 a.m. to catch the start of the stream. Yeah, time zones I know are like a big thing where it's like, ew, depending on where you live, you're not gonna, it's all. But no, I do really, really appreciate it. Again, like, whether you're here like one, once in a blue moon or, you know, every day, it doesn't matter still appreciate it and you know having you turn up today was lovely or <laughs> well, even if it did make me cry <laughs> oh dear um this is by the way um the two that i did this one not so keen on i much prefer the uh, result of this one it's really subtle it's even subtle in real life but you can kind of see like uh the line on the outside where it's slightly darker and then there's like a little bit of light in the middle that's kind of the look that i'm going for i went way too far on this side and I did it a lot more subtle on the other side. You can imagine doing that within every single pinstripe. It will take a while, but um, it just makes them look, I think, a little bit more rustic, and that's kind of what I want to do. Um, but yeah, that's also why like, I never open donations or anything like that. Just, again, on my personal stream, because I know there are people out there who it's like, this is their job, this is that, and it's like, if I can direct people to that, that's generally what I will do. But um, very, very kind. Oh, look, David! You're playing Cooking Simulator? Ah, oh, heck yeah! Oh... Uh, been on my stream, you could do like a boss bar HP. Give them a fun game for people and give them a chance to have their name picture. This is true, I suppose. I mean, if people want their name on screen... Maybe they'd be aware I could do that without donating. <laughs> oh, if I get like a chat on screen... Oh dear. Oh, do we have uptime? I don't think we have uptime, but we've been up for five hours and nine minutes. Nearly five hours and ten minutes. There you go, Will. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. I think that is also where we're going to leave it today, because um, I need to get ready to do my D&D session. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's actually Vampire the Masquerade. It's not D&D. I shouldn't call it that. Um, <laughs> Will, you do, you do exclamation mark uptime, but it's actually just me telling you the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> this is not what you were expecting. Oh. Uh, you can actually set the point values for each action. Oh, okay. That'd be cool. So if people did a horn, they'd appear on screen. That'd be fine. Like, someone tooted the horn. <laughs> someone has called the Venga bus. Oh, drink fruit salad. I usually lurk here, but I want to say thank you and love your energy. Oh, thank you, fruit salad. I'm so glad I found you on Instagram after seeing you at Comic Con! It's such a lovely person! Oh, thank you, Miss Meatbug! I do really appreciate it. And the time for me is this time. Yes. Um, I need to I need to do something and get ready for my sessions. Uptime human! <laughs> People be like, uptime, expecting the stream to tell them, but in fact it's me. Hi, I shall tell you the time uh, that the stream has been up. This is not what you were expecting, but it is in fact what I will be doing. <laughs> Um, right, now, what to do, right, you know what though actually, I think, I think we, I, I think I know who we're going to raid today, I think we're going to raid someone who popped into our chat earlier in the week, because I think we des we, we, we may owe them a raid, and also they've been really really sweet, and they've been popping in here, and I kind of want to raid someone back who's been really lovely and been sharing a lot of love here and that's Yazzybug and because they've been really sweet and lovely and sharing a lot of love here I'm gonna share some love back so you know sharing love they're not I think often in crafting but yeah oh dear 
I didn't meet at Comic-Con. Maybe in the future. I met here ranting about vegan cheese on pizza. A few people met me about ranting on pizza. It's because Domino's don't offer it, but they offer like a fat-free version or something, but they don't offer vegan cheese. And I'm not vegan, but I'm lactose intolerant and it's so readily available. And you just would think that maybe they would offer it. But anyway, that's another for another time. Oh dear, it's Hasha, thank you. And you too have an absolutely lovely afternoon. Right, we're going to set up this raid. Uh, Rafe? <laughs> raid? Not Rafe. D&D, &D, yeah. So I do D&D. &D. I also do um, Vampire the Masquerade, which is another roleplay. But I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of them. Ah, uh, dear. We have now got another 30 minutes of stream. I'm very passionate about cheese. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you so much, everybody who did turn up again. And thank you so much, Asha. And thank you so much, um, David and Dan and everyone. And, and, oh God, everyone who donated and can't even it was a lovely stream but also and before watching me make watermelon pants <laughs> i'll get those emotes done and of course uh, as soon as they're done pop them in discord pop them in um the stream it will normally take a few days but i'll make sure that they're through as quickly as possible so that when they're through they're through um yeah we have jelly raid so you, if people want to copy that they can or people just post their own thing we're gonna send yazzy lots and lots of love they're absolutely lovely and they're just doing some chatting and yeah i hope everybody has an absolutely lovely rest of their day i'll be back now on monday and we're doing a raid will <laughs> and yeah i'll see everybody soon i hope you'll take care and yeah let's go send yazzy lots and lots of love take care everyone thank you so much yeah and then you follow bonus